topics, whether conscious or cosmic. It's never nonsense. Mega levels are microscopic. It's a killer priest project. AD control the rocket. Before we land a plane, many things we engage and explain. The unexplained without mass. Welcome to the Killer Priest Podcast. What up, world? What up? What up? What up to everybody out there? Welcome to another episode of Killer Priest Podcast. I am your host, Killer Priest. I am she. Right beside me is one other one. It's two of law, seven from law, children, Babylon. And here, yeah. and holding down the rocket, controlling the room, the boys, is none other than AD8. Shout out to Jody. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Let me shout out to Jody, the moderator who's moderating. Moderating, we celebrating Cinco de Mayo. That's right, that's right, that's right. We represent. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. I want to give a big shout out to all my Mexican brothers and sisters. Hey, oh yeah, we represent y'all tonight, man. We love y'all. Hey. You know what I'm saying. Y'all, y'all are brothers. Y'all are hey. brothers and our sisters, man. Our cultures connected in ancient times. So no doubt. we're here to represent y'all. That's why I'm wearing the, the Mexican colors. Indeed, you know indeed. <clears throat> Yo, shout out to the rocket, to the Rocketeers, and shout out to the Craftsmen and the the most deepest chat room on the net. So, yeah. man, talked about uh, and Gozi talked talked about a lot about Tahuti. Yeah, other cats, mighty Hebrew came on here and just mm-hmm. gave the um, mm-hmm. chat room props. Today we got a very special day, very special guest. And we are on standby, waiting for him to uh, respond and coming in, come in and build with us. You know, he'll be coming in a little bit later. We, you know, we letting him come in, and we're going to let the chat room build up. Oh, man, it's going to be on and popping. I got a lot of stuff to ask yeah, him. Yeah, man. You yeah. know, and then make sure, if you have your questions, hit this super chat. Man, it's going to be phenomenal. And you're hearing this from Priest. Yeah. And, um. Everybody in the Killer Priest podcast. Yeah, bro. man, this is uh, it's gonna be an awesome show. You know what I'm saying? Epic. Hopefully, we get connected to, uh, you know, Jordan in a minute. And uh, yeah. yeah, it's gonna be dope. It's gonna be really dope. Shout out to Con Hearts, um, out there. Shout, shout out to Con Heart Radio. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Fourth Disciple. Shout out to True Master. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to Capadonna. We got Capadonna, a new video yeah. out there. Big up, big up to um, Capadonna out there. And just um, making more music. You know, that never stops. Shout out to Ray Kwan. Mm. Appreciate you, brothers. We appreciate you, too. Yes, right. Uh, Nostradamus in the, pil- in the place to be. Mimi Moon Moonos says, happy Cinco de Mayo. That's right. Even though even though my peeps still enslaved by the Spaniards. Yeah, the conquistadors, right? Conquistadors, yeah, that's right. The conquistadors that's right. and the Spaniards and came. The Spaniards came. And they tried yeah. to, you know, oh, pillage, pillage, all of that stuff, uh... Yes, respect to you, brother. And um, who's that? Daniela uh, Martin, Max Computer, Brooklyn Blessed just blessed us with the uh, what's that gold? Yeah. Yellow, yellow yeah. Gold. gold. Danny Salinas yeah. in the yellow. building. Yellow. Viva Mexico, yo! What you, yeah. what you got up there? You drinking today? India? We got the, we got we got a little Modelo right here. We gotta represent Brooklyn. And you know that. what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, well, we got some Pell L. Saint Archer, Pell L. All right. So we're All gonna right. have a we're gonna have a drink with. I might have to do a little brother, beer. Uh, brother, brother, brothers, uh, bro- Mexican brothers and sisters. We're gonna have a drink for them. Yeah. So Cinco, Cinco de Mayo. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do the toast, and we're gonna get into our tea ceremony. Definitely, we're gonna do that, and that's yeah. gonna um, we're gonna build it up. We're gonna mm-hmm. build it up like that. We got a, cu- a couple more clips. I know y'all was liking clips. Mejito's in the house. He's going into your fish. Oh man, he's trying <laughs> to get there. Yeah, he throws in the building. Uh, shout out the priestess. <laughs> shout out to all the poets. The poets that were up last time it was it was it was incredible. Um, yeah. From the last podcast, the um, sister that came in and did poetry was crazy. Tahuti yeah. really can't went in last time. Then Gozi always getting. I know he's tuning in. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to Michael Crockett. Peace and love. Peace and love to you too, brother. Saint Archer. Uh, Jason in the building. Why don't we just break it down, Jason? Yeah, Jason? yeah. We what was just Jason in the argument. We was like, what, 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 but you broke it down, though. You gave it an awesome, you gave it an awesome <laughs> acronym right there. You know? <laughs> I never looked at it like that. Yeah, yeah. I said, Greek, oh, I said, okay. Yeah, we're going to pull that up. Pull, pull, pull up uh, Greek Jason. We're going to pull up Greek Jason later. Because I know that um, 
when you're dealing with uh, Jordan, he breaks things down mm -hmm. to his very last compound. Yeah, yeah. And when you look into how he do it, Tofu, shout out to you, Shinobi. Uh, Tofu Shinobi, he got the squirrels in there and he turned it blue. Yo, man, thanks for keeping it true for me and you. Yeah. For me to you. Um, Battle, Battle of Paluba. Oh, um, MCBCBFG coming all the way from Europe with a fat, healthy, healthy uh, gold um, a gold euro, no doubt. Thank you, brother. All your all money is good. All money is legal. Shout out to uh, um, Billy Rodriguez. Positive energy activates constant elevation. For y'all who don't know that, that means acronym for pe for peace. Yeah. Um. How are you war cloud is war cloud in the building? War cloud. Oh, that, that's, is that him? Ah, somebody already got it. Elevation process is Jason, July, August, September, October, November. That's oh, exactly yeah, right. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. That's the breakdown, yeah. yo. Yeah, 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 yep. Because when you're looking at all of that, uh, when you're looking at all what the Greeks did yeah. back in the days, it was all based on astrology and astrology. their months. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. September is severe, August, uh, Augustus, Augustus Caesar. Augustus Caesar, right. Julie, he was July. July, yeah. So Jason the Julie. Greek... Yeah, it's all the months. It's all the months from yeah. July. Jason, yeah. uh, July. Yeah, August, October, November. Yeah, that's September. pretty. That's pretty deep, man. I never, I never looked at it that way like that. That's man, there's cool. a lot of things you have no. Cool. I, so that, hey. I mean, he's a lot of things you could break down. I, 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 but I, I was like, yo, I was yeah. like, okay, that's. I never thought of that. That's that's dope. Man, words and etymology is everything, mm -hmm. bro. They come in and they um they give us all these words. These words, words, and these facts that they create. Yeah. Um, shout out to Jeff F. He turned it. Uh, thanks for the two, bro. Shalom. I'm going to start the podcast Hebrew Breakdown. Um, I'm start a part of Hebrew Breakdown. Okay. All right, brother. Yeah, do that. Do that, man. Hebrew, it was the language. That's right. right. Originally came from Aramic Hebrew. That was the ancient. Yeah. Before it became Hebrew. And it meant something, yeah. So mm -hmm. when you do that breakdown... Make sure you got all of the, uh, all of your history, and I know you do. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doubting you. And uh, when you're going into uh, that knowledge of uh, the Hebrew, break it down. And there's a lot of esoteric stuff that goes into it. There you go, January, February, March, April, May. Mm -hmm. Who's that, Jeff Man? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, you're right about that. Triple JC, what up, bro? Like your beat last time. Yeah, man. that was dope. It was, it was heavy. Yeah, that, that that's yeah, that beat was on shape. All right, y'all. It's two ninety people up in here, so it's time to get started the tea ceremony. We might as well get this started because I know when um Jordan come on, we're not gonna have time for that. It's yeah, gonna be yeah, on. Yeah. So A D, are you are you gonna join us in tea? Uh yeah, I'm gonna get my water. Everybody at home, go grab your cold brew, your coffee. Get your cold brew coffee or get your hot coffee. Get your Vietnamese yeah, off the yeah, meat yeah, rack. Yeah. Gotta give them props. I always give my Ethiopian tea props. I mean, uh, coffee props. Yeah, yeah. But, you know. That's, that shit is If you strong, drinking water, you know, and, uh, Cinco de Mayo, so some of y'all want to do some beer, I might just some do beer. a beer That's shot. why I brought the... Uh, or whiskey, or whiskey, you know, whiskey with cerveza. coffee. Cerveza. Yeah. Whiskey cerveza. With, yeah, cerveza, yeah. Whiskey or Corona. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't whatever, say that. Don't, don't put a be, tender. Whatever y'all want to... Time, you know, yeah. Whatever's good for y'all makes you feel good. Whatever makes you feel good. Yeah, you get some wine, some nice mm -hmm. wine. Mm -hmm. K Bob Praxis, what up, brother? You turned to my favorite color, orange. You know what I'm saying? I did a song called Orange too. He said, Why Dean? He said, Why Dean DMX managed to say X was covered in real goat blood? <laughs> Hold he on, said, give me a second, give me he's a I think he's talking about the album, the album cover. <laughs> Flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood. Pardon me. You know what I mean? I think, I think maybe they used real goat's blood in that. In that, in that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was blood. Yo, you don't remember that cover? Yeah. That's kind of wild. <laughs> then Eminem, I think Eminem did something back. similar to that. Okay. Well, he said, is he asking me why? Or is he saying why, Dean? Well, I mean, no. they probably had to go for a real blood texture. But he could have bought fake blood, though. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Easy. Get it over with. There's movie blood. Yeah. You, you could buy movie blood on Amazon, I'm sure, for the effect. Easy. You don't you have to I mean? wash it. There's a certain texture and the density of that liquid. 
Not not only you that, really... goat goat blood is it's it stink after a while. Yeah. Like who, 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 who's keeping this blood fresh? You know what I'm saying? It's, it, it, it's, I don't think spoil. that. I don't think that. Bring back down. Uh, X Sorry, did no no crazy. You know, Ke- yeah, we don't even have to yeah because we already X, answered that. Yeah, X was right. a uh, no, he's a follower of Christ. He's a Christian, even though you know. Right, but you can get fooled, and then you could be you gotta have a faith that you believe in. Right. And this industry, and I'm gonna open up. I haven't opened up like this in a long time, but this the industry, the mm-hmm. music industry, right. would kind of like gear you into doing stuff that you don't even know what you're doing, and yeah. you're doing, and it, and you find out that it's um, it's uh, it's dark force is behind right. it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like they could they could have poured. Real blood on him. You're like, yo, man, I'm, oh, just, yeah. I'm blood in my we'll, blood. We'll make it. And then one of those executives be like, yo, man, let's get some real blood. Let's get this real. <laughs> let's make this real. Like some real, like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's going to make this shit real. <laughs> exactly, yo. Shout out to Freddie Colley. Callie. Uh, let me say call. All right. Uh, he, he dropped five on it. He said prayers and love for Columbia, right? Right now. Well, what happened to Columbia? Columbia. Over 800 wounded and many dead for protesting corrupt president and government. Oh, Taken wow. down. Oh man, this is a great time for Jordan just to come in. Right? Yeah, yeah, I know. The gov. I mean, everything's upside down. <clears throat> we in the world. The world is upside down right now. We're going into yeah. retro. Everything is um, crazy right now. We're gonna get into that later, though. I mean, yeah. you want to say something? Yeah, I mean. I didn't. I didn't hear about this, so I'm glad you, you brought that up. Hey, D, I this mean, one for I you. May, I think I may have gazed at something on YouTube this morning, oh, but okay. I didn't look at it, the oh. news. Oh, okay. But um, nah, that's crazy. I didn't know. I didn't know that was going on in Colombia. Me either. Yeah, I know. This must have just happened. Yeah. This must have just happened. But yeah. hey, that's yeah. how it is, man. Some, you know, uh, in some of those kinds of con- in those countries, man. They don't deal with the protests the way that you deal with it here, here in America, you know, right. where, you know, we had a real serious situation back like two, a year ago with the Black Lives Matter movement. Man, imagine if you got to, that's like in, in Colombia when it's a protest against the government or whatever, it's 20-fold. Yeah. So the government will attack the protesters, you know what I'm saying, if they feel, you know what I'm saying, they're, they're, they're going to trying to burn federal buildings. That's just simply not going to go go down in other countries where they're going to use a brunt force against right. a mob or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and no, you didn't miss the tea ceremony. We're, we're starting the tea ceremony yeah. right now. That's for somebody to ask. AD, this one's for you, AD. The yeah. next one. All right, uh, shout out to RS Brunette. Go ahead. What up, brother? Uh, so you're asking about the, the flat earth question. What contains the edges? It's a giant circle of ice. <laughs> Uh, you're obviously yeah, new yeah. to the subject. If you look it up, you'll 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 learn about it. But uh, <laughs> it's the circle of the Earth. It's all surrounded by ice. And, Why has uh, nobody ever been there yet? Oh, plenty of people been there. Been where? The to end. the ice? Yeah. Just the edge of the well, just pick, it. pick no, a, no, 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 pick no, no, a direction. Hold on. Let me answer this question. Okay, okay. You pick a direction and you go straight. You're gonna hit ice straight up. Uh, so that's what contains the edges. How does that change the science of volcanoes? I mean, there's gonna be volcanoes. You're still going to mm. have disks that are going to be, you know, slipping and all that and creating earthquakes. Your volcanoes are still the same. You still got Sheol on the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Um, Earth's core is just Sheol. It's all oil. It's all heat. It's a, every, all the rest of the science still is the same. You know what I mean? You're just not going to find curvature anywhere. You can look all day for curvature. You ain't going to find any curved ocean in the re- for the rest of your life, ever. You'll never see a curved ocean in your life, and you never will. Because science proves that water stays level so for more information on that uh check the description i'm putting the movie to the flat earth documentary straight up oh are you just kidding coming <laughs> question and documentary yeah yeah because we can't we can't <laughs> yeah, go yeah, into all that yeah yeah if well, they we have to if, come back to that you didn't prove the theory if, if they want to you, uh, you didn't prove the theory though the the theory is that's because that's a theory the theory is the globe ball earth lie all right. That's well, what that's what theory. people can't prove. We're gonna have to have a real battle about. It. We're gonna have to I mean, it wouldn't be a battle; it'd be an explanation. All right. Well, we're gonna deal with this because I'm not. We're gonna have to. For more information, check the description. You see the flat Earth movie right there. Boom. Because mm-hmm. that's a whole other topic that you're gonna need a whole movie for. You ever see the flat Earth movie he's talking about? Not no. yet. He will. You think you see? see and well, me and Priest ain't see it yet. Y'all check it out. It's, it features uh, Santos Bonacci, ODD. Oh, Santos is in it. Of course. Oh, okay. And so that answers that question. A bunch of flat earth earthers. Of a bunch of truthers, yes. 
Flat uh, earthers. You guys are truthers. flat earthers. Yes. Yeah, flat earthers. All right, let's, keep, truthers. let's keep it going. <laughs> we know what's up. All right, shout out to Source Allah Elohim. Uh, he put all sevens on it because seven is the God. You know what I mean? All sevens. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, if, and if you hit all seven, seven is the, uh, what is periodic table of the seven? Uh, I know one is hydrogen, but we right. have to... Let's go on and do some deep. Y'all, y'all, the What's chat the room, the chat element. Room. Yeah, the seventh element, element right? Mm-hmm. Okay, shout out to that brother. Thank you for turning all sevens. Uh, we was about to get into it, uh, Rasul. Like, uh, donkey, shout out to Donkey, man. Here you go. He said, uh, <laughs> "Go ahead. That's for that's <laughs> for you, uh, uh, Rasul. Uh, please don't get emotional, man. I don't get emotional at all, <laughs> brother. First of all, this is Jordan Maxwell. Hey. <laughs> We when, when Jordan come on, we just chill. <laughs> hey, he's just asking the question. Hey, he's all good. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all good in the yeah. in the uh, woods. Um, six uh, six is carbon. Yeah, I know that. The six day man. Say, oh yeah, was so seven in carbon. is what? what? What's the seventh element? That's a higher level. level. If carbon is, oh, we can go deep in that because if carbon is six, yeah, carbon is six. You got to go higher than six in the element form. Because we know when you go up to six, usually you distill back down. You can't, <clears throat> only a certain few can get past that yeah. six, yo. <clears throat> we'll talk about that later on because, uh, yo, shout out Josh Jacob. Oh, somebody I've said. I've been in the gym. Really nitrogen new. is the seven. Is, is that? Is the seven? Oh, no. Nitrogen, okay. Nitrogen. We got to get the science of the uh, nitrogen. Mm. Okay. Oh, this man right here. I can't answer it right now. My bag. Nitrogen is seven. Okay. Yeah. Nitrogen. Nitrogen, I'm sorry. And nitrogen was <laughs> deals with oxygen. Or uh, nitrogen is, is wait a minute, I don't know what nitrogen the element. Nitrogen is another element. We breathe in we breathe in about eighty percent nitrogen. Yeah, there you also, go. We breathe, we breathe. Nay, nay. Shout out to Nay, nay in the building, man. Turning in orange. We love you too. Much love for Cyrus Biz. Peace, power, progression. We got your your email. Um, yo, y'all, y'all, man. Shout out to Nay Nay. Nay Nay been turning it up. Yeah, they yeah. been turning it up with the super chat. They took it to the level. I think y'all the highest. Yeah, they threw the highest um, super chat on the. You remember? That's Nay Nay. Remember yeah. last time? So. Shout out to Nene turning the orange. What rhymes with orange? Carnage or what? Foreign. Foreign, yeah. Orange, foreign. foreign. I'm riding in something foreign. Maybe it's an orange. Color yeah, of this yeah. orange. Yeah. Uh, orange nitrogen, forage. okay. I love this chat room, man. Y'all are so super. So we waiting on George Maxwell, man. We might as well get into something before it comes. Oh. Ah, uh, everybody got their time. I hope y'all got your tea, y'all, y'all um, y'all st- y'all, y'all tea ready. Get some cinnamon, turmeric, whiskey, wine, however y'all want to do it. Even if y'all want to mm-hmm, do a blunt right mm-hmm. now. And um, AD, you got your drink ready? Uh, yeah. Uh, we got 391 in the building. Yo, Jordan, bring them out. Yeah, Say, we do. All right. I'm going to pour you. Yes, yes, This right yes. here is green matcha. Y'all saw me green earlier matcha. making it. The infamous matcha. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Ah, yes. <sighs> I'm gonna ah, go. I'm gonna go. Yes, I'm gonna yes. go. Wooden cup. Wooden cup. The matcha. Notes with the most. All right. So I just pour. It. And AD, when you ever you start the music, I want to say cheers to everybody. Ninety nine. Let's see you up in there. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, Jeff F. Yo, thank you for saying that, man. He said it's his favorite podcast on the web. Oh, what? Well, really? Damn, up, man. Thanks, Web man. is deep, man. Shout out to Dope. Santana. Yeah, big up to Santana, man. Wherever you at. Yeah, because if it goes down, we got a priest or Russell who never smoked weed on the on the show. I think you smoked weed. I smoke weed. weed I never times. did. You know. We had a we had enough people on it because I have to be on point and then uh I'm not doing it. You know what I'm saying? So, we <laughs> so it's like uh, Well, you know, I we got this. Yeah. Yeah, we we did it. So A D, whenever you want to start the music. Okay, one then, second, talking to Jordan right now. He's hey, get, he's getting ready. He's getting hey, ready. Okay, Jordan's okay. in the building. Ah oh, man, yo, it's about to go down. Um uh-huh. we're gonna start this so this whole I'll drink. Hold me a drink just a little bit. Sometimes. Oh yeah, that's how you want it. Oh shit, hold on, hold on. That's how you feel it? Hello. Hey, Jordan. Uh, yeah, how you yeah, doing? Yeah, 
there he is. Hey, hey Jordan. Jordan, uh, I, I sent you a link, a Zoom link. Uh, go ahead and join the Zoom link. Okay. Um, I don't. My, I don't. My email? Yeah, it's in your email. I don't see you on uh, Skype right now. Are you on the video Skype or just the audio Skype? Skype. I'm on video Skype. Okay, let's see. Because you know what? We could, uh, there you go. We, we could probably uh, do the show with you uh, on the Skype. That, that would work, too. Okay, let's just do it that way. Let's just do it this way. Okay, cool. So we're going to just uh, get you on the show right here. Let me set everything up one second. <laughs> Shout out yes. today. We all agreed to Santana and his lovely wife. Best podcast on this flat earth. Yes, right. You got to say it. You got to say it. You see, you got, you, got, you got Jordan having a crack and a smile at that flat earth theory. You know, <laughs> you, guys, you guys are something else. You know, you're never going to be able to, you're never going to get it, are you? Jordan, it's a pleasure to see you again, my brother. How are you, man? Elder. Hello. Oh. I uh, thank you. Nice yeah. to talk to you again. Thank you too, bro. I'm I'm doing about as well as a, as an eighty year old man can. Yeah, indeed, indeed so. Nice. Indeed so. Yo, we wanna um we wanna start off with uh doing the tea. I don't know if you're drinking anything, but we always start off with a tea ceremony, and uh we we drink tea, you know, yeah. and uh, whatever you're drinking, Jordan is uh, is is good to you if it's water. If you don't have anything that's around, even if you're not even drinking, you if can just lift your drinking. fist. Just <laughs> and then we're going to start. We're going to get into it. Uh, the great Jordan Maxwell yes, has yes, entered yes. into the building. For all y'all home, sitting in your chairs, get ready to open up your ears. It's going to be something. And be ready to prepare to yeah. listen clear. It's going to be something for this year. Yes, yes. Yo, this is for y'all. And you, if you're in front of your desk, if you're at home, if you with loved ones, if you with friends, y'all got your popcorn or your whatever. Yeah, your yeah. Blunt. This toast is for you. Yes, toast, toast for you, Jordan. Cool. Mm -hmm. Happy Cent uh, Cinco de Mayo. Ah, just like golden. Oh man, this was. <sighs> yeah, it's like the note. Like you, you took that straight down? No. Oh, no, okay. No. You took the shot. Like, <laughs> well, well, you know, this went down a little fast. I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, it's like emerald. Yeah. It's like a. It's good. Always good. Always good. Very oh, creamy. Yeah. Very creamy. Very. Uh, it's got its own little natural sweetness to it, like only nature could cre create. And uh, that's my take on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How like do y'all feel? I feel great. <laughs> I feel great. Tea always makes me feel good. You know. Jordan. 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 Yeah, man. My. Uh, Jackson, Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Um, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, the great Jordan Maxwell in the house. Well, thank you. Elder. That's right. Your flowers are given to you on this show, bro. We appreciate everything. Yeah. Everything you do. Everything you do. Yeah, we learned a lot from you in yeah. our... In our uh, in our youth, you know, and um, in the early 90s, you know, all the way into the, you know, early 2000s, even to now, your teachings have been inspired, all of us, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying to open our minds and expand our consciousness, you know what I mean, you was one of the ones that, even, uh, that was the forerunner of where we're at today. As far as a lot of these so-called conspiracy theorists out here, you know, you guys were the ones to, to pre present information to the masses, man. And we thank you for that. We well, thank, thank you for... Once again, once again. I thank you for seeing that because so many people don't realize I was talking about this 60 years ago. Back in 1959, I was talking about what was coming to America mm. and who they were and what they were doing. And here it is. Just what I said 60 years ago. Mm. <clears throat> Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Okay. My, I'm just going to go off the top, man. Right off the bat. How did it all start? How did all the religions, how did all of it start? It started back in the Civil War. Mm. That's why we had a Civil War. Because of the land holding. The whole entire subject has to do 
with how we in America held our land. We, America was supposed to be a Lodio country. A Lodio, A-L-L-O-D-I-A-L, a Lodio country. Meaning that if you were in America and you got a land patent, you could hold your land as absolute dictator. No one could touch it because it has an allodial title. Mm. Only the Queen of England has an allodial title. And mm. so we had the same kind of power that the, that the kings and queens of England had. We held our land in a lodial title. Today, there is no such a thing as a lodial title today. We've gotten mm. rid of it. The powers that be, the bankers, the international bankers, did not want nobody having anything in a lodial title. Mm. Lodial means nobody, and I'm emphasizing no one can touch anything if it has a lodial title. No one can touch it. Not the federal government, not the internal revenue, not God or Jesus. Nobody can touch an allodial title. I mean, that's the way we had it set up in America. Everyone who had their own land held their land in a allodial title. Mm. And so the bankers said, we can't have that. We, gotta, we can't have people owning their land in a allodial title. Because that, that way we will never be able to do anything because you can't touch an allodial title. Mm. So that's what started the whole thing off, is that back in the 1800s, they decided mm. Mm. that the United States of America was no longer going to be around any longer. We're going to have a civil war because we don't want people owning land allodial. And so today, we don't own anything. Nobody in America owns anything except if you have an allodial title. And so that's why we are in the mess we're in today, because of land holdings, the, mm. way, we, the way we hold our land. Mm. And a constitution that says the whole state will hold all land in allodial title. That's what it says in the Constitution of several states, that everyone living in that state will hold the title to their land and a lodial title, which means no one can touch it. No one under any circumstances can touch that land. Mm. And so, and so they, they decided to get away and get rid of the United States of America because everything in America was a lodial title. Mm. So they said that we are not the United States of America anymore because we've had a civil war. And everybody in the country was against somebody, the North against the South. And so we are no longer a United States. We are a country filled with people on both sides. So we're not united. So then it was decided that what we need to do is change the name of this country from the United States of America, the republic for which it stands, and we should change that title to the United States Corporation. Mm. We are a corporation, like Sears and, and all the other big corporations and Ford Motor Company and everybody else. We are, in America, members of a corporation. We're not the United States of America. Only Americans have the right to hold a title in a lodeo, and they have a right to freedom. We are not United States of America citizens. We are citizens of a corporation called United States Corporation. And because of that, it's, therefore, you're not known as an American. That's why but you don't have any freedoms of Americans. You don't have any protections of Americans. You have only the United States citizen. U.S. citizen means you are an employee of a foreign corporation called the United States Corporation. Mm. And so, therefore, 
if you're working for the corporation, usually if you go into a big corporate headquarters, you'll see people wearing badges. And that badge shows you that they are members of the corporation and they have a right to be there. And so that badge has their name and a serial number on the badge showing that they are members of a, of a corporation. Well, so do you. You have a badge and a serial number. It's called a social security number. Mm. And your social mm -hmm. security number is your membership in the corporation called United States Corporation. And mm. that's the basis for all of our problems today because the bankers are never going to allow Americans to hold anything, a low deal, nothing. They don't want you owning nothing. And today, Americans don't own anything. You don't own your home. You don't even own your own children. They are not a low deal. You have an equitable right, but you don't have a low deal right. And a low deal is the basis for all the problems we're having today. Because the bankers want to destroy the United States because it is holding land in a low deal. And that's the problem we got today. Most people have never heard of a Lodiel title, don't know anything about it, have no idea in the world what's going on. Mm -hmm. And so back in 1848, mm -hmm. California became a state. California state had a constitution. And in the constitution for the California new state of California, it said in the constitution, Quote, no banks will be allowed in the state of California ever. Mm. No bank. But you can have a, some sort of a corporation together with other people to hold your money, like a uh, credit union. But no banks will be ever allowed in California. It's totally illegal to do any banking in California. The international banking hoods and the murderers they said they can't have this. We can't have California doing away with banking. We can't open up a bank anywhere. So they had a civil war. After the war, there was a new constitution, and the new constitution said, welcome all banks. And so that's what we've got going on today. All of the stuff of the COVID virus and all that crap, is all part of this conspiracy to destroy this country because it holds this land in a lodeo title. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Wow. That's, great. That's deep. There's no idea in the world how this work works. Does that, because uh, oh, sorry, but. you cannot pay a bill in America. In the United States Corporation, you can't pay a bill. I know we all say we have this bill to pay or that bill to pay. You can't pay a bill. You can discharge a debt, but you can't pay a bill. Because the only way you can pay a bill is in gold and silver coin, according to the Constitution. That way you can buy your land allodially with gold and silver coin. Now you don't just own it, you own the land. It's yours. And that means that section of property that you own goes all the way down to the center of the earth. All the way down to the center of the earth is that property that you are on on the surface. And from the center of the earth out to the heavens. <clears throat> and so that's what <clears throat> a lodeo title means. You are God on your property. No one can touch it. No matter who you are or what the problem is, nobody can touch a, a Lodeo title. And that that's, goes back to the royalty of Europe. Mm -hmm. And so that's why today we are having all the problems we are because somebody is trying to destroy the United States because it wants to hold property in a Lodeo, but they can't do it. <clears throat> because the bankers have already gone into Washington, D.C. and bought off all the politicians and told them, you say no, don't do nothing and don't give anything. No, no uh, low deal title. 
because then we are we're finished. We uh, the bankers don't have any control over anything. But today they can take everything you own because you never paid for it. You you have an equitable interest in everything you own, but you don't own it. And that's another problem is that we have equitable interests. In other words, if you're going to get a new car, you have to pay for it. Now, if later on you want to sell your car and I want to buy it, I have to pay you something, something toward what money that you have had to pay to get it. So I have to, you've got an equitable title. So I have to pay you something. It won't be the same thing you paid usually, but I have to pay you something for you, the money you've got involved in it. And so when I pay you, you think you own it and you sold it to me. You didn't sell anything. The only time you can sell is if it's a lodial title. And you didn't sell me a lodial title. And I didn't ask for a lodial title because I'm so ignorant, I didn't know I needed a lodial title. And so therefore... When you when you have people coming into America from, say, Mexico or Canada, and they're coming in illegally, they're coming into a corporation illegally. Mm. And this is why you have something called uh, people who are breaking into a corporation at night or do not, do not have a right to be in that building. They are aliens. And the reason why they're called aliens is because they have the company, the corporation called the United States is going to put a lien on the title. They're putting a lien on you. You become an alien. A lien. <laughs> they're putting a lien on you. Just if, I, if, I paid, if I painted your home and you don't pay me, I could put a lien on it. The lien. <laughs> says that you can't do anything with that house till you pay me. So that's what they are doing. They're putting a lien on people coming into the corporation called United States Corporation. Mm. They are called aliens because the A lien has been put on a lien. you. Wow. A lien. Wow. Yeah. Aliens, yo, man, it's so much good. Entire whole entire story is based on how you own land because if you can hold land allodially you can hold anything allodially mm-hmm. you get a you get a, a a boat you can buy it a lodial title mm. i had someone i went with quite a few years ago who bought a brand new car and i was with him and we went into the dealership and he picked out and my friend picked out the car he wanted and they were going to give it to him, and he said, and he said to the salesman, "I want this car with an allodial title." And the salesman said, "Okay, hold on, we'll have to get a special contract for that." So they went in the back and got the allodial contract. Mm-hmm. And he came back out and he signed it, gave them some money, and that was it. Now today, he absolutely owns that vehicle. Nobody can touch it. You can't do anything with it. He can, wherever you park, you're not going to get a ticket because you own the cop, the, the, the car, a lodial title. And most people have never heard of a lodial and don't know what a lodial is and don't realize that they are, they were a lodial themselves, mm. meaning nobody could own you. You were an American and you had freedom. Today, they will tell you, you don't have any freedom. You just shut up and put your mask on and go home and stay six foot apart, and we hope you die. Mm. You don't have any freedom. Just shut up about your freedom. You don't have any freedom. You're an American. You're not an American. You are a U.S. citizen. Mm. You a corporation. It's a company like like Ford Motor Company and General Motors is a corporation. And you don't have anything to do with the running of the corporation. And that's why we have different kinds of people in America. We have voters and we have electors. Mm -hmm. You can only be an elector if you actually own something in this country. 
but you can you can go on you can go to a a uh, a place where you can register who you like and who you don't like. So we go in and we we're going to a voters, and so we go in and vote, which means the big international banking cartels and the mark and the incredible Marxist, Leninist, Soviet, communist international bankers will see who it is that you like and then they will put them up to run for president because you like them and that's what they wanted to know who is it that you like and the reason why is because they, mm. they will elect the electors will elect who you like mm. so that when, when you find out that they're nothing but a bunch of scumbags and communists and taking your money and ripping you off there's nothing you can do about it because you voted for them. You said you liked them, so we gave you who you like. Now you find out that they, that they are working for the bankers and they're working for the system. And now you don't like it. Or too bad you don't like it. Nobody asked if you liked it. You said you liked them, so we let you have him. Now you've got him. Now what are you going to do? Now you're going to die. Hmm. <laughs> on and shut your mouth and go home and don't ask no questions because you don't own nothing you ain't never owned anything and you ain't never going to own anything because the only way you can own it is a low deal title so that's where we are today nobody owns anything but a you mask a title but that's it mm. yeah. put your mask on and shut up and be quiet <laughs> yeah that's what wow. I said, put your mask on and shut up and be quiet and go home, and we hope you die. <laughs> we hope you're dead already. That's what we want. We want you dead. We're tired of looking at you. You're running around town talking about you own this and you own that when you don't own nothing. You ain't never owned nothing. Mm. So the handle you is they just get rid of you, kill you. So take your silly ass uh, mask. <laughs> they they have inculcated the, the serum uh, in the mask. So when you wear the mask, you don't realize that you are breathing in microscopic uh, contaminations in the mask. The brand new mask you put on, mm. there is a, there is a, mm. uh, Ooh. yeah, so there's a, there is a, um, what am I trying to say? It's some kind of a... a bacteria? Yeah, some kind of a vaccination. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you wear the mask, and the vaccination has has diseases in it. They right. want you dead. They're tired of looking at you. They're tired of you, having you around. They want to live in a world of money and power. Wow. And the only way they can do that is own a bank. But why do you have a bank? It's because... On a bank is a river bank. Why do you have a river bank? It's because the ro the water we have a your water that you are living with. It's just a very big story. Mm. We need the to hear that story. Bank. We need to hear that story. It's a really incredible story, <laughs> and when you really get into it, the first thing you're going to see is that we are finished. America is through, it's finished. It's not gonna be around much longer. Really? Why? Because the bankers want you dead. They wanna see you die and know for sure that you're dead. So mm. they don't have to fool with you anymore. They don't, have to, they don't have to tend to you or fool with you or give you no uh, retirement. <clears throat> so when you work for the corporation, just understand this, when you're working and you're working for the corporation, you are an employee of a corporation. And if you are working for a corporation, that means you don't have anything to say about who actually runs the corporation. You just do your, do your job and your security. Mm. You are security for the body social. The body social means all the people who are working for your corporation. No matter where they are on the earth, if they are getting a check from the Ford Motor Company, they're all working for Ford. So therefore, you are all working for the same corporation. And therefore, you are part of the body social. It's called a body social. 
And so you are the security for the corporation called United States Corporation. Why? Because you go to work every day and you pay your bills, you pay your fines, you pay your ticket, you keep paying and paying and paying and just keep paying all the bills and keep and then you pay your rent and pay all the other things. And the more you pay, the more secure the company called United States feels because you're spending money and they got millions and millions of people, over 300 million people paying every day, all the time, paying their taxes, paying their, their all of the bills and all this kind of stuff. So you are a security for the body social. That's why when you decide to go home, you get social security because you are the security for the body social. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. That was heavy. Yeah. That was heavy. Wow. This is a big You have no idea in the world how far gone this has really gotten. This has really gotten. Well, we feel it now. Sorry. Jordan, people are fe feeling it. They are actually seeing it now, things that you were talking about back then. Yeah, a lot of your work has come to pass. A lot of your uh, stuff that you spoke about, you know, in your lectures are now coming to pass. Yeah, I know. But I've been talking about it for 60 years. And most people have not uh, even the faintest idea of what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Because know anything about the word allodial. They've never seen that word nope. in the dictionary. Nobody talks about allodial. Nope. But you go into a car uh, uh, dealership and tell them you want to buy a car, but you want an allodial title. And they will tell you, okay, hold on, we've got to get that contract for allodial title. And they'll go get a particular contract and sign it, and then you sign it. And now you're buying your car allodial which means nobody on the earth will ever be able to touch that car no matter what. No matter who you owe, no matter how much you owe, no one can touch that car ever. Only you, because you own the car, but you don't own your home. If you have a, if you have a house, you don't own it. You didn't buy it allodially. Mm. And so therefore, that's where we are today. We as Americans are no longer Americans because Americans were considered to be free. We were born free and we were a free people. But you're not a free. You're a U.S. citizen. It means you are, you are an employee of a corporation called United States Corporation. Wow. Wow. Yeah, and, but you don't, have any, you don't have any freedoms. And the law says, in the federal law say, you don't have any rights whatsoever, period, because you are an employee. Now, do you want your job or don't you? Because if we don't give you your money, you're not gonna you're not gonna live very long. So if you want your job, you need to cut. You need to shut your mouth, wear your mask, and go home because we hope you die. Damn. So that's what hmm. our politicians are today. They don't give a damn about you or me or anybody else. They want you to comply. Wow. Mm. They want you to comply and do what you're told to do. And you wear your mask and don't ask any questions because you are in the corporation. And the corporation says you must wear a mask. So you must wear the mask. If you were an allodial title to your name, then that's different. Oh, we don't no have that. Touch you. No one could tell you anything if you have an allodial title to your name. But Americans are no longer Americans. They are U.S. citizens. U.S. is a corporation. Mm -hmm. And so that's the problem. That's the problem today. And so myself, I don't have an allodial title, but I understand what allodial means. Right. I've encyclopedias and the dictionaries. I know what it means. And so I'm declaring myself I am allodial. Anybody that don't like it can go to hell. Because I am concerning, I am concerning myself. I own myself, and I will do what I intend to do. And I don't intend to have anybody tell me what I can do and what I can't think. And I need to wear my mask and go home and shut up. No way. I don't go home and shut up for nobody. And, and then, so, yeah, go ahead. So when you find out what's going on for the first time. 
you will see that the whole of America is not an allodio title. The whole of America is called fee simple. F E mm. simple. Fee simple. Look, Look, keep that word in mind. Yeah, you yeah, buy yeah. everything fee simple. Fee simple. Fee simple. Hey, you pay with the Federal Reserve notes. It's not money, it's notes. And that's why I said you can't pay a bill. You can only discharge a debt, but you can't pay a bill. Why? Because it, say I come over and I paint your, paint your house and I'm going to charge you $100. And so when I get through, I give you a bill for $100 and you pull out of your wallet a $100 bill. So you're giving me a bill. It's called a hundred dollar bill. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's true. I give a bill for a hundred dollars. You give me a bill for a hundred dollars. Now we're even, and so I don't. You don't owe me, and I don't owe you. But we're even. Now you got to keep track of that. So you have to have people who are bank accounts and lawyers, and they will keep track of who paid who and how much did they pay you, and when did they pay you. Because now you are no longer an American. You don't have the rights of Americans. You are a U.S. citizen. And that's wow. the name of the tune. Now also, did you know that you, as a person, you are worth $9 million on the stock markets in New York? That your body is worth $9 million? And mm. that's an incredible, it's an incredible <laughs> story. Wait, your body's mm. worth $9 million? $9 million. You are worth $9 million on the New York Stock Exchange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if you go on my website, jordanmaxwell.com, no, jordanmaxwellshow.com. Yeah. If you go on my jordanmaxwellshow.com, you will see on the first page the advertisement for something called Jordan. The Jordan Maxwell Research website. If you go to that website and buy the buy your uh, membership in the in the research website and look at all of the information I have collected over the years about treason, about lies and deception, and all the crap that's going on in America and what the American people think about themselves. And who they really are and why they don't have any power mm. because only knowledge is power and they don't have any knowledge. Americans don't have any knowledge. They don't know what's going on. And so that's why I, I say if you, have a, if you have the knowledge, you know what I'm talking about. And now you see what I'm talking about. If you don't have any knowledge, then you're never going to suspect you're not an American. Mm. You are a U.S. citizen. Wow, that's well put, man. Yeah, that's well, well put. Only the great Jordan could put it that way, man. That that's some crazy. But you see it. So the elite is um they got a different type of uh yeah like, a whole agenda, right? Of law. What you say? Say it again. You uh, ignorance of the law is no excuse. Mm -hmm. You don't have any excuse when it comes to law. That's why you. You see so many people ranting and raving about the whites killing the blacks. Mm. Well, first of all, the wealthiest man who ever lived on the face of the earth was the most wealthiest man who ever lived in the world today. He's on the web. You can go on, on uh, Wikipedia and look up the wealthiest man who ever lived on the earth, and you will see it was a black man wow. in Africa. And he was the wealthiest man who ever lived in the world. Mm. And he owned slaves, black slaves. Mm. And he told the heads of governments to sell off slaves to make him money. And so the heads of these different governments in Africa began making deals with America to sell their slaves and give him the money. So he was the wealthiest man in the world. And he was selling people to Americans. And that's how he got his money and his political power. And most people don't like hearing that. He was mm -hmm. the wealthiest man who ever lived on the earth who owned thousands and thousands of slaves. And he sold them all to make oh, money. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's real talk. Yeah. Who would you say so, that man was? So, therefore, most people do not know what's going on in the world. Why? Because it doesn't bother them. They don't care. Yeah. All they want to know is who's winning the ball game and who's <laughs> going to play the ball game. Take me and home to the ballpark. Mm. Yeah. And so, therefore, the, they give you plenty of sports. They give you plenty of sports and alcohol. On every corner of every city in the country, there are liquor stores. And you can go in and buy a liquor. And it's not expensive at all. You can buy yourself liquor. <laughs> Why? Because they, the people who own this country know, let's keep the people ignorant and stupid and in prison and make sure they got plenty of alcohol and drugs. And mm. so the drug cartels in South America are working with our government to make mm. sure we have enough, gov uh, we have enough uh, drugs to keep us stupid and keep us dim with it. And we, mm. and that's, that's where we, and that's why we can't get rid of us. We can't get rid of the drug dealers. Why? Because they work for the government. They're working for the government. They're working for the federal government. The drug dealers are uh, the the guys in South America and in cartels. They're not going to get rid of them. You're not going to be able to do anything with them. Why? Because you are not an American. You are a U.S. corporation citizen. That means you don't have any you don't have any rights. In America, you are a U.S. citizen with no rights. Wow. That's what the law says. Therefore, you can't make your government do anything. You can't make anybody do nothing. You can sit back and keep your mouth shut and wear your mask, and we hope you die. <laughs> We're tired of looking at you. You, <laughs> Jordan, um, you've said before that uh, the message for the elite is different than the message for just regular citizens. That's right. You but you better believe it. That's exactly right. So when you go to jail, you go to jail. Uh, you go to court. Why do you have to go to court? Mm. It's because you go to court because they play tennis on a court. Mm. It's called a tennis court. <laughs> Why do you play tennis on a court? Well, first of all, you have to have a racket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you need to start looking at the words we're using in America because mm. we're free, but we're not free. You don't have any control over nothing. When you vote for politicians, that's just because you're voting for who you like. And so therefore, the guys who run this country are giving you who you like. But the people who you're voting for work for the government. And that's why they're giving you who, who whom you say you like. You said you like him, so you voted for him. But you were just a voter. You're not an elector. Mm -hmm. We have a electoral college. Mm -hmm. We have people who are electors, not voters. And they will elect who you say that you like. Whoever gets the most voters will get to be the next, the next uh, politician because you are telling the electors who you like, and they will appoint who you like. Now when you find out they're a bunch of lousy communists, and rapists, and murderers, and liars, <laughs> and they're, or the, they're working with organized crime and the mafia, when you find out that your politicians are nothing but mafiosis and gangsters, and so now what are you going to do? Well, you're not going to do nothing, first of all. You ain't, you ain't doing nothing because you, you were the one that voted for them. You said you liked them. You wanted, to, you wanted them to be the leader, so they had the electors elect who you said you liked, who you voted for. And That's so right. that, you are the one that is in charge. You're the one that, that voted for them. And that's why today you got nothing but a U.S. government, which is a communist, Moscow, communist government, running the world. They're running everything. They're running you and your world and your business, and they own you. And it's just an incredible story about betrayal and lies and deception that you've never heard before. Mm. Mm. And 
God knows if I could if I could just tell people what the real truth is, and you're going to find it on my research website. You go on Jordan Maxwell Show dot com. Mm -hmm. You have to add the word show because there are other websites out there that have my name on them, Jordan Maxwell website. But I don't own them, and I'm not making any money off of them. I'm not doing anything. They have taken my work and uh, selling it and making money for themselves, and I'm not, I don't own nothing. I don't have anything. Mm -hmm. I'm broke, and I have nothing. Well, we, the people who are selling my, my materials and selling my work are selling me to the world. And so that's why today I'm in the shape I'm in. I don't have anything. I don't own anything. But I know what's going on, and I know how this works, because I've been there and I know. So no doubt, Mister. Uh, I mean, the great Jordan man. We we we're gonna we're gonna help you out with that, man. We got we got a team that you don't even know about, and that's why we 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 still here with you today. Yeah. And I know you you've been teaching this uh this work for sixty years, and I know you go back and you go back. Did you um did you know Manly P. Hall? Oh yeah, of course I did. Yeah, he was my personal friend. Mm, when wow. he died, he left a will for me. He left oh, wow. he left me in his will. Wow. Oh yeah. Wow. He left all of his research work to me. That's crazy. And always told me he was so appreciative of me and so we were best of friends and i I used to hang out with him and go to his home and when he died he left he left all of his research work to me that's gangster man so let me this is a question coming from my uh, brother hakeem uh they i know they murdered him but why why yeah was he murdered and why okay he was murdered by his male nurse. What? From what I heard, it was his male nurse, because the male nurse would bring bring him his mail every day, and would point out what he had to sign in his in his mail. And so Manly P. Hall was old and decrepit, and so he would sign whatever he was told to sign. Mm. So the male nurse put in front of Mr. Hall a new uh, will that Mm. said Mr. Hall left everything he owns to this male nurse. And the male nurse had him sign it. He didn't know what he was signing because he just signs papers all the time. So he didn't know. And after he signed it, the male nurse put a blanket over over his head and put a pillow over his head and he died. And therefore, the male nurse was now the ownership of everything that Mr. Hall had ever done. And so he realized that that was stupid because when you are a male nurse to a very famous man and he dies and you turn up with a new uh, will that shows that you own everything, obviously that was very suspicious. And the police looked at it and said, no, there's something wrong with this. You just had him sign this, and now he's dead, and now you walk off with everything? No. So they found him. He, he left town. He went down to the south into Mexico, and they, the authorities were following him, and they caught him in Mexico as he was going into South America from Mexico. And they caught him, and I don't know what happened to that guy or who he was. But he killed Doctor Doctor uh, Manly P. Hall. He killed the doctor. Wow! Wow! He wanted to take everything. That's what this world has become: the takers and the and the uh, and the people who are the victims, the victims and the takers. And that's what we got going on right now. And that's why the government is part of the people. The people are takers. They don't want no truth. They want to take, and they don't care if you want it, or if you need it or not. They take it anyway, and so the government op- operates on that same idea. They just take your land. They don't give a damn if you don't like it. <laughs> Who cares if you don't like? It. So they take it. Do you think? They- right. 
do you think that they um sorry to cut you off but do you think that they uh constructed the uh, um the mobs that run in the streets and uh have all these riots and stuff that was yeah. going on yeah where do the mobs get their money if they're running around burning places and then go home and sleep all day and watch tv and go out at night who is paying them Black Lives Matter. huh yeah. Where are they getting their money to get on planes and fly around the world yeah. and have the guns and the, ma the machines and the, all the uh, armaments to create their great riots? Who is paying the, the, the uh, rioters? Who is paying the rioters? The wow. government, the U.S. government is paying them. That's why you need to wake up and find out this government is not your friend. This mm. government is owned by the people who made the money and they bought your government. Now they're buying you and they tell you very simply, we don't like you. You are trash under our feet. So mm. go home and shut up and do what you're told to do and wear your silly ass mask. And we hope <laughs> not. Hey, it's funny. Yeah, it's real. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's real. You, you, you keep it in 100. George, keep it 100. That's what we say. We, we say we keep, you keep it in 100, uh, Jordan. Yeah. We love it. So Black Lives Matter <laughs> falls under that same category. Is what Black Lives Matter? Mm-hmm. So Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. <laughs> Black Lives Matter. <laughs> Wow, that's 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 incredible. Right. That's incredible. Yeah. yeah, because she went and bought a, a three million dollar house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And she, doesn't even live around black you, people. No. And what you gonna do? What are you gonna do about it? You ain't gonna do nothing because you don't own nothing. You ain't got nothing. So what are you gonna do about it? That's real. That's they just tell you what they're gonna do, and you just do it. You just do what they tell you to do, and you'll be all right. You can just have your little, you can just have your little uh, home and your food. And you can take care of yourself. That's and if you don't like it, they'll take everything away from you. That's why everything is going digital. They want a digital currency around the world. Because with a digital currency, that means that digital is a numbers. And so they give you a card, a digital card, the banks do. And now you can put your money into the bank with a digital and if they don't like you, if you don't, if you don't go along or get along, and if you don't show respect, they will cut you off digitally. They will take your digital card out of the system, mm -hmm. and you can no longer buy anything or sell anything or do anything because it's all digital, and they just shut your account down. Now you're going to find out what the Bible was talking about. You will not be able to buy or sell without the digital card. Wow. Yeah. We have a digital currency because the government can now go into the computer and shut your particular digital number down. And no matter how much you pay, wow. up, they can't, you can't get nothing out because it don't work. So that'll teach you a lesson to keep your damn mouth shut and go home and do what we tell you to do. Man, man, yeah. you going in. Yeah. Shout out to Con Hearts uh, Media. They just turned it all red. We got your back, Jordan, yeah. over That's here, right. man, and what you're yeah. talking about. She just uh, threw up one, one, uh, a big red 100, turned it red for you, uh, Jordan. So we're going to keep it moving. Uh, man, what you're dropping right now is real talk. We don't have this type of dialogue People seem like they are scared, but now they're starting to wake up because it's right here in our face. Yeah. That's right. It's right. It's finally, finally here. What do you think about it? are going to die soon because of it. They're going to give you a disease, and they're giving diseases away for free now. And the guy who, the doctor, Fauci, who uh, comes up with this idea of the COVID disease, Dr. Fauci is a Jesuit. Ooh. He same as the Pope in Rome. The Pope in Rome is called the Holy Father. Why is the Pope called a Holy Father? Because he speaks for God. Mm. He's the original Godfather. Get it? The Godfather. Yeah. In Rome. Rome. Whoa. Yeah, that was hard. That was a. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you gotta give him a bomb yeah. for that one. Give him a round of applause hard. for that. So that's why we are lo- We are finished. Damn. America is through. There is no longer an America. It's the United States Corporation, and they're getting ready to fold the corporation. And when they fold the corporation, that means no more food, no more grocery stores, no more work, no more nothing. It's over. It's finished. And you ain't got nothing to say about it at all because they own the company and you're working for them. Yeah. You don't like that? Well, let's see what you're going to get. Damn. Well, well, is there any solution? What's the solution? Yeah. I think the solution is that they need to wake up mm-hmm. and find out who owns you and who is in control of your life and who owns you and who owns the bank account. That's right. right. That's right. That's right. And where are so you going talk. to go when you die? You really need to start thinking about what's going on in America because it's going to affect you. You need to find out and you need to get educated. And mm. that's why I have a website called Jordan Maxwell Research Website. The research website you have to join. Beautiful. Why do you have to join? It's only a thirty dollar. Uh, it's only a thirty dollar contribution. Join that site, y'all. For a lifetime uh, membership, one just one payment for a lifetime, and you get all of this information from me, Jordan Maxwell. I give you all of it for a lifetime for a subscription rate. And why? Why am I? doing it that way because I was told to do it that way by my attorney friends. <laughs> I have some friends who are very highly placed attorneys and they tell me, Jordan, if you're going to put anything on your website that's going to get you in trouble with the powers that be, you better put it on a private website so that people have to pay to see it. Therefore, you can say, well, I didn't tell them they have to join. They just wanted to join to see what I have. Mm -hmm. And so, therefore, it's like if you go into a restaurant one night with about 10 of your friends and you go back into the back part of the restaurant and sit with your friends, at that point, you can sit and talk about anybody you want. Mm -hmm. You can call them any name you wish. As long as your friends don't mind, you can call them anything you want and say anything you please. But if you turn around and go on radio and start talking that way, now you're in trouble because the government will shut you down. Why? Because all government is in place to protect the people. Mm -hmm. They protect the people from hearing the truth. They don't want the people to hear what you're saying Mm -hmm. because you're calling them You're calling people names and you're calling, giving out all kinds of information. And if you're in the restaurant by yourself, that's fine because that's that's a private conversation and government has nothing to do with private. So by keeping it private, it it makes it more legal in your standpoint also. So that's That's good. Absolutely. So so I was told if you're going to put stuff on your web, you better put it into a private Mm -hmm. so that you can say, I didn't tell people they had to join. They just wanted to join to see what I was saying. And so, therefore, they wanted to know. They wanted to know, and therefore, they have a right to know. Even if they have to pay for it, they have a right to know. Mm. And so that's why I charge people for for a subscription Mm. to my website because Jordan Maxwell website is on my home page on my website, Jordan Maxwell Show. Is it down there? Pull it up for him. Uh, shout out to Nene, keeping it red. Uh, Match Kindheart straight up and down and said, shout out to KP, Rasul, Law 7, AD, Peace, Power, and Progression. And that's what we're about here. Um, you at home, we just want to let you know that you at home, um, Jordan, when you're on here, that we are open to, because it's here now. And the things that you were talking about 60 years ago, and it, and now it's manifesting that you are in your home in your right place that people are listening and they're getting it now. I know well, you me, talked about UFOs and everything. Man. Yeah. 
Uh, I have been in the company of some of the wisest and most incredible people you've ever heard of, without, without a doubt. And I have, I have got lectures on my research website that you have to hear. You've got to hear these private lectures that I attended, and I took them and I recorded them, and I have them on my website, my research website. And if you go on my research website, one of the first places you will see is audio video videos. And so if you go on the audio video page, you will see lectures of me, of the different people I have heard that will explain everything to you. And believe me, you're going to hear some stuff you're not going to believe. What do you, what do you think about the recent UFO sighting? Uh, the UFO stuff. The, U the, the, the UFO recent UFO. one. They just about a couple of days ago, NASA just revealed and put out some documentation. It's been all over the internet. Yeah. What do you, what do you well, think? What do you think about that? Question. Let me tell you about the UFO question. I've been looking at this for sixty years. Been traveling around the world. I've talked to all kinds of military people, politicians and some of the most important people on the planet about the UFO problem. And I am totally sure, because I've been told by certain people, there is a UFO presence in the Earth. And it's a UFO presence because it's, it's extraterrestrials who are leading us. We are being misled by extraterrestrials, and that's where the... That's where the, that's who came up with all of this stuff was the extraterrestrials. They have come here and they want to control the whole earth. So they give us our religions, our government, and our philosophies and everything else they give us. And so we go along with it because we think it's so smart. We haven't got the brains to understand it's been given to us by our extraterrestrial brothers and sisters. So we go along with it, and we just take it all and eat it up, and we just love it. Yeah, a couple of the super chats. Um, it's pretty phenomenal to see. Again, I, you know, I've always you know, on uh, show I always talk to priests about Bob Lazar, and um, I, I like I said to you before last time on the show, I think he's the closest one to actually seeing or he because everybody else is a speculation, you know. Yeah. But Lazar, right. I actually kind of I believe him. You know I do. Like, I try not to. I, I don't. I don't try to use that word believe all the time. But I actually believe what Lazar is talking about. I was in his company. I've been with him many times. And there's no doubt in my mind. He's absolutely correct. Mm. I've been out to Area 51. I've seen things at Area 51 that you will never see. I've seen extraterrestrials at Area 51. I have seen UFOs at Area 51 in Nevada that you have never seen. Wow. So I hear Bob Lazar talking about them. I know he's right because I've seen them. So yeah. I don't have to wonder if he's right. Or not. I know because I've seen them myself. It's crazy. It's, it's heavy. It's, yeah, that's it's, heavy. It's, it's real heavy. Man, it's this is getting heavy, deep. Man. This is geek. Do you believe that if they reveal extraterrestrials to the world, that destroys? Because I always bring up on this show. On Killer Priest's yeah. platform. If they reveal extraterrestrials, it destroys religious belief. You have to rewrite the whole story. You're going to have to really, like, like come up with a new, you, you know what I mean? You're gonna, you can't yeah, use those, you, you can't know, use the and, Bible and the Quran and the Torah anymore. You know, it's kind of. And the reason why is because in the Anglo, Anglo language, which is England, the Anglo-Saxon language, the sun that comes up in the morning is the light of the world. So we're told that Jesus is the son of God. He's the light of the world. Of course, the sun is the light of this world. Why? Because in English, Anglo-English, <clears throat> sun is spelled S-U-N. <clears throat> but in the Germanic term, the Germanic language, German language, sun is spelled S-O-N. Not S U N. So we're getting it all mixed up in our minds because we don't know what, what to believe anymore. So we get it all mixed up and we say Jesus is God's son and he's the light of the world. Of course, the sun 
is the light of the world. Mm. And I, I, I gave a lecture last year in, in February, in February of 2000, I was in Laughlin, Nevada. Uh -huh. And if you go on the web and type in my name and see Laughlin, Nevada, and UFO, uh, UFO Expo, it's called UFO Mega Conference. M-E-G-A, the Mega Conference of UFO. I was a featured speaker. <clears throat> and for two hours, I talked to the audience about all the stuff I'm telling you. But I had pictures with it. And all the pictures and documents are with it. So if you want to see something that's going to wake you up, and you're not going to believe it, go on the web to UFO Mega, M-E-G-A. Mm. UFO Mega Conference, Jordan Maxwell speaking. UFO Mega. I think I've see, I seen that. I think I may have seen that one. You're speaking to like an audience, right? A huge audience, actually. Say it again. You, you're speaking to a huge audience, right? Like an yeah. auditorium. Yeah, I think I... Yeah. yeah. And so, but when you go on there and you see me talking, listen to the last half. Mm. Not the first half, but the last half of the two-hour lecture. Listen to it closely. Because I bring out documents and pictures of things you've never seen and never heard and didn't know anything about. And I show you where all of the stuff is coming from and how this is all part and parcel of what's going on in the world today. I've got it all on that video. And what's it and called you, again? Say it again. Uh, what's the name of the uh, video again? It's called UFO Mega conference ufo mega conference okay mega awesome. m-e-g-a mega conference with jordan maxwell speaking mm. so when you see jordan maxwell ufo mega conference it's mm. in laughlin nevada which is about 50 miles south of las vegas in nevada mm. and you get that and watch it no doubt yeah we're gonna um there's a um, there's a lot of cats who got questions too for Jordan while he's here, and um, one of them is from um, R. S. Burnett. asks if you have uh, if you have head of the theory of mediums. No, uh, let me ask it. R. S. Burnett asks if you have heard of the theory of the medium is the message. Well, it I've heard that a long time ago. Gotcha. Okay, we also have another one. Danny Salinas asks if you have ever met Russell Means. No, I have not. Okay, uh, Red Sun. Okay, I've never met him. No. Mm. Uh, Red Sun asks, uh, how can we get away from our social security number and still get things done in America? Well, you're worth nine and nine point six million. Yeah, each body. <laughs> If you're 9.6 million on the stock market and the stock exchange, that means you can sell stock. You can sell a million dollars worth of stock and get your own money and you'll have a million dollars. And now you're only worth eight and a half million. But you've got a million dollars in cash in your hand. So you need to understand how all of this works. And it's on my research website. Mm, okay. Okay. Jordan Maxwell show dot com. Okay. You will see the first thing you will see is a flyer that says join Jordan Maxwell's research society, research website. And in that research website is all of the stuff I'm talking about. Everything is there. It's all there about the secret societies and all the lies and the and the the, the things that they're telling us are not true. And where this government came from and who we are and where we've come from and where we're going. And it's really extraordinary stuff. So, mm. uh, man, I love the extraordinary. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times you said, um, uh, Jordan, that um, America was really Rome. Could you? Yeah, America is the Roman Empire. Mm. And that's why you got an empire state in New York. Empire State is the Roman Empire in the state of New York. Mm. Because if you look at the history of the Roman Empire, 
Look at the history of the Roman Empire. Caesar wanted to be God over the whole world. He wanted his religion and his and made himself to be the savior of the world so that everyone would bow their knee to him. And so Caesar went into England. He took over all of all of Europe, and then he decided to go into Britannia. And he took over Britannia, or Britain. And when he took over Britain, he opened up his, his government in England. And where did he have his government in England set? Where was he set up for his government? He yeah. was set up in York, England. Mm. And that's why we got New York. Yes. Higher state. Good. That's why you have an higher state building because New York is the empire state. And now Caesar finally has what he wanted. It finally came about that Caesar is now the god of this world. Why? Because in New York you have a United Nations. And the United Nations is the centerpiece for a new world order under Caesar. Mm. We are now on, on our capital and in Washington, D.C. is a Washington Monument. The Washington Monument is an Egyptian obelisk. The Egyptian obelisk is a male phallic in erection. It's a male <laughs> erection. Mm -hmm. And it connects directly to the White House and the Capitol in the Oval Office because the male erection connects directly with the female ovaries, the Ooh. Oval. And therefore, that's where life comes from. That's what the life of the corporation is in male and the ovaries of the female. And therefore, we have the Oval Office with the male erection is the Washington Monument. You have no idea in the world mm -hmm. what's going on in religion. You have no idea. You've wow. not been told the truth. You've never been told mm -hmm. about the symbols of the religion and where they come from and what they mean. It's an incredible story. It really is incredible. And one day I'd like to tell you all about it. Yeah. Mm. Well, we want to. We, we want to get hear, some of it. Yeah, we want to hear some of this story. Yeah. I mean, if it's a car, I know the cross. Uh, where, where, what's the origin of the cross? The cross is going a long, long time ago, all the way back to the beginnings of the world. It's been around for thousands and thousands of years before Christianity ever came into being. Mm. It goes back to the ancient worship of, uh, of the sun god, Aton. A-T-O-N, Aton was a sun god who died on the cross and who was resurrected and who's going to come back and save the world. Mm. And if you believe that, I got some property I wanted to sell you. And so it's really an incredible story about the Jewish religion. The Jews today, if you go on the web and go to uh, go to image on the web where you go to image and then you will find all the pictures that deal with a particular subject. Mm. Go on the web to image and put in and then type in swastikas in Israel. Israel swastikas. You will see that in Israel in the different um in the different uh, churches in Israel, synagogues, you will see our big swastikas on the floor and on the walls. And why did Hitler pick the swastika? Because Hitler was partly Jewish, and he understood the implications of the swastika. And so, therefore, that's uh, the whole thing of Hitler with the Jews is a made-up story. And you've mm. got to know what the real story is. Hitler came up with a swastika because that was a symbol for the God of the Jews, was a swastika. Mm. And the Jews will tell you today that you should not use the name of God today. You cannot use the name of God. 
is so holy. But they will tell you, the Jews will show you, that there is a word for their God that you can use. It's all right to use it. And it's called tetragrammaton. Yeah. <laughs> tetragram yeah. is tetra, which is four. The number four is tetra. In the guess you have tetra gamma. Is gamma? Gramma aton. Yeah. Ah. Tetragram aton. The aton yeah, yeah. was the yeah. the aton was the sun god of Egypt. Look it up in a dictionary. Look it up on the web. Go to image and type in A T O N. Can we put that up? A T O. Tetragrammaton. Oh, Aten. Yeah, there you go. A tetragram Aten. Tetra. Tetra is nice. four. Gram is letters like A B C D. Let so therefore, that. the tetragram Aten and the Aten is the sun god of ancient Egypt. Wow, right there, that emblem right there. Yeah, right there. That's the why today. If you go, on, if you get my lecture, I did in Laughlin. If you get my lecture I did in Laughlin, I show all of this in the two-hour video I did, and the two-hour lecture I did in uh, in Laughlin, Nevada. It's called the UFO. What did I say? The UFO Mega, M E A Mega Conference. And so, you know, I, I, I remember many years ago as a child when I was eight years old, I was going to California. Can you hear what happened? Sons were telling us children, eight years old, they were telling all of us children that there's going to be a special mass to hell just for children. So we all have to be in church tomorrow night for a special mass for children. So the next night I was there, and so the nuns told us, if you have any questions about your faith, you can ask the bishop. But if you ask the bishop, remember, you don't have any questions. You don't ask any questions. So even if you ask them, you don't have any questions. Well... The next night, I was in the church, like all the other Catholic children in town, and, and the bishop asked us, he said, after the service was over, he said, if you children have any questions about your faith now that you're Catholics, Whoa. I didn't answer them. So great. I stood up, because I didn't want to miss who I was, so I stood up, and I said, yes, bishop, I have a question. I said, my father works with blowtorches, and sometimes he lets me play with a blowtorch because he wants me to see how dangerous they are. And so if I am standing with a torch in my hand and it's on fire, if an angel was to appear to me, because we've seen the angels appear to people, and so if an angel appeared to me and I've got a torch in my hand, could I burn the angel with the torch? And he's and the bishop said, no, you can't burn an angel. I said, why not? And he said, well, because angels, you can't even see an angel, much less burn one. If you're going to burn something, you've got to have something that will burn, like paper or, or plastic or wood, something like that, because you can't burn an angel. And I asked him, I stood there and asked him, I said, why can't I burn an angel? And he said, because angels are spirits. You can't burn a spirit. You can't even see a spirit, much less burn one. So I said to the bishop, I said, then bishop, why am I concerned that I'm going to go to hell where I burn, uh, my spirit will burn forever if you can't burn a spirit? And he didn't know what to say. Nobody's ever asked him that question before. <laughs> Nobody. Yeah, if it's in the spirit... So, uh... After that, I started putting pieces of alka salsa in the holy water. <laughs> he said, yeah. You made holy water champagne? <laughs> yeah, holy water champagne. Did he find out it was you? <laughs> oh, man, yo, shout out to Con Media.
Carhartt yeah. people just turned up. Shut up and don't ask no question. Keep your damn mouth shut. <laughs> don't have no question. You're not supposed to have any questions. Only smart people. Yeah, only smart only people. people. That's right. Yeah. Smart. Damn. Yeah. Get in the corner, huh? Get over there. Get out of here. Yeah. Uh, you, got no, you don't have brains enough to be smart enough to, to ask any questions. So just sit down and shut up and wear your mask and don't ask any questions. Just breathe it in. And breathe all the chemicals in from the mask. <laughs> we hope you die pretty soon because you're so damn stupid. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh, now you really you can be getting real with it. Now, like Joy, now yeah, Joy be getting real. I like that, Joy. It's like, like Joy can speak on it. Yeah. Now, I like the way you talk because you you talking that talk. Yeah. yeah um, yeah. Kind Heart Media said uh, most of us started listening to Joy Maxwell and or listening to other people regurgitate information he investigated. Yeah. Let's support him with Killer Priest support on um, Super Chat. This is from the Kind Heart Media team. Thank you, Jordan, for helping us along this journey. And hey, yo, listen, Jordan. This is from, um, that's, and Kind Heart has been turning it up. They turned it all the way up, 300. Yo, we want to we wanna tell you that, um, yeah, we all feel that way, Jordan. We all we all feel that way, and um, and um, your longevity, and you're still here. I know you. Um, my, I want to go back a little bit to uh, uh, to Manly P. Hall because you said that when you know you were good friends with him, and he he did lectures, and I know that they robbed his notes or something like that, right? Yeah. So how did how do you think that he will? How, how did he get? And this is coming from Hakeem, uh, once again. How did he get that? Uh, his message across without his notes. Well, you you go on my website will be a good start because I've got everything on there. I've been talking about for 60 years. Everything's on there. Indeed. And a lot of stuff is coming. I got a lot more stuff is coming, but my webmaster can only do so much in a in a 24 hour day. A 24 hour day. Who's your webmaster? Is it is it AD? No, 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 no. Oh, it gotta be you, AD. <laughs> no, he's got somebody already got set somebody, there. Okay. Yeah, he should. Yeah. Got you. Now I've got somebody who is my webmaster, and he does exactly what I tell him to do, <laughs> and I pay him. But okay. I have to pay him because he has a life of his own. Right. And right. so I have to pay him to work for me. And the only way I can pay him is if people join my research society, so I get the money, so I can pay him. Well, you so, have. A Need for everyone hearing me that wishes to know about this work that I've been doing for 60 years to go on my website, jordanmaxwellshow.com and go to the first page and you will see join the research website. You join it and then you will see all of the stuff I've been talking about for years. <laughs> audio, visuals, audio, video, uh, lectures, white papers, research papers, pictures, documents. I mean, every kind of piece of information you want to know what's going on in the world, it's all there. We so we have uh, another question from uh, another uh, Kabat. You can write, read that, or is that Dal Kabat Brax? Dark Man asks, do you think that capitalism is the ideal economic system? Of the what system? If it's the ideal uh, economic system in general. Well, I think capitalism is the only system on the earth. Even the lazy, useless, dim-witted communists, they have to work and pay their bills. So that's capitalism. They want, to, they want the money. Yep. And they control the money. And they want to work to pay their bills and pay their rent. And so even the lazy, useless, and asshole communists, they want to work and make money so that they can pay their bills. Well, that's capitalism. So I think, yeah, capitalism is very important because the people who want to work and pay their bills don't go home and put your mask on and we hope you die. They go out and they're not wearing a mask and they are working and making money. Yeah, yeah. So, Control you. Yeah, yeah. Um, perfectly you, asked. Uh, K. Bob Prax got a question too. What, what do you think about? Because you spoke about the cast of society. We all know what's going there. But I'm looking at it like this. I look at Bitcoin, 
Ethereum, and the likes. This yeah. is the beginnings of the cash of society. But That's what's funny about it is, is that they have everybody bidding on it like the stock market. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah, you know. The, the people are so profoundly unin, uninformed. They don't know what they're doing. They just get in on something and there's a lot of money in it. So they go to invest in it and they get invest in it and they're going to get it. And then they're going to find out what they've really got. They got a digitized world. Mm -hmm. Digitized and now world. They can shut you down forever. I feel like they're going to come with they're going to come with a federal coin. That's, that's going right. to be like that's going to be like the Ethereum or Bitcoin. But I think it's going yep. to be like a federal federal. Oh, you know what? You're on the wrong mic. Oh, shit. but you have to oh, okay. practice. Sorry. You got to yes. practice it. You gotta get it get it right. Yeah. Yeah. So well, they have to practice, so that's why you got Bitcoin and all mm -hmm. the other digital coins to get used to it. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's the beginning stages of uh, the cash of society. Yeah, it's, and it's, when it's you actually think about where our money comes from, our money is called the, Roman, the Romans in the ancient Roman Empire said that there were two things on the earth and only two things. There was land and the sea, land and the water. So the Romans said there's only two kinds of law on the earth. Maritime, the, law the maritime. And the law of the sea, yeah. maritime. Mm. Yeah. And so maritime law is based on the sea. And who is doing business on the sea if it's not big ships? Mm. That's why they keep building them bigger and bigger and bigger because they're doing a lot of business on the sea. And so yeah. when the ship pulls in, it pulls in at the harbor, and it parks at the dock. And therefore, once it pulls in at the dock, it's in its own berth. And mm. so if you go take a ship to somewhere in the world, you have to go to the ship uh, she's sitting in her berth. And mm. so it's a birth certificate. And so therefore, you are a birth you have given birth to as a material, as a piece of as a piece of merchandise that somebody owns a lodeo a lodeo mm. find out they own you a lodeo therefore you can never ever break out because they own you mm. and they can kill you they can steal from you they can rip you off they can do anything they want and take you to court and they can do whatever they please to do because they own you and that's why I said I don't buy this fact that they own me. I own myself. I'm going to do my own thinking. I don't do anything for anybody else. I do my own thinking. Thanks and therefore, to Jay. I understand what they mean by uh, by a lodeo. Mm. So, Judge. So when a ship pulls into a harbor, all ships, every kind of ship in the world, Sailing ships, the big commercial liners, airships, rocket ships, all kinds of ships <laughs> have a captain. Right. And they're all the captains will tell you that their ship, they call her she. She's a good ship, and she's very seaworthy, and she's a good ship. Why do they call their ships she? It's because it's the law of maritime admiralty law. All ships... If it's on the sea or in the air, airships, rocket ships, any kind of ship is a female. That's why they call her she. Why is she, why do all ships she? It's because she delivers the product. We come from a she, and she delivers the product. And she was in the delivery room delivering you. And that's why all the mm. jets and all the ships that are bringing all the equipment to America to sell, they are bringing in materials to sell. And so you have been bought and sold. Mm. And that's why she is the ship. And every piece of, uh, every item on every ship that comes into this country has to have its own uh, certificate of manifest. Every. Mm. Every single car or television or any 
article that can be sold in America has to have its own material manifest. And so it's called a, because the, when the ship pulls in, what is the ship park? It parked at its dock. They parked at the Classic. dock. So therefore, we have to have a dock certificate. Or it's called a birth, because she is in her birth. So you have a birth certificate. And the birth certificate tells the world how much you, uh, you are worth. And do you have five fingers, and what color are you, and how tall are you, and what is your weight, and do you have enough hands, and do you have feet? And, and that's all the things that they ask for with a car. Is it, is it a four-door, is it a two-door, is it air conditioning, and what color is it, where is it from? Well, that's the same thing the doctors do with you, because you have a birth certificate. Mm. And then, where you come from, and how much you weigh, and and how much you are and all that, and so they can put a price tag on you. And so right now it's 9.6 million. <laughs> Each person. Crazy. Yeah, mm. every person is worth nine and a half million. So oh, my I just is kind of, okay. That banks, uh, banks are, are running the world. They don't give a damn about you. The politicians don't give a damn about you. You go and listen to people like George Carlin. He talks about how the money people of this world, they don't give a damn about you or your family or anybody else. They only care about how much money they're making. That's why when they go and when, when the country is bankrupt and we're going down the tubes, they're still getting $160 million in extra money that the banks are giving the heads of the big corporations. They give them the money. And so they get their big bonuses. They get their millions and millions of dollars in bonuses. Why? They don't give a damn about this country. They don't care about you. They want the money in their hands so they can go somewhere okay. else. And That's right. So, uh, 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 kind Heart Media would like to know how can they support you monthly and do a monthly fundraiser that's the type of cast we got rolling through that's they want well, to know how can they support you um and do a fundraiser you go on my website jordan maxwell show.com remember to add the word show jordan maxwell show.com you will see on the right hand side of the home page you will see a button that says donate Donate to Jordan Maxwell. And if you go on the donate button and put in Is your donation, I get it immediate I get it immediately. We got you, brother uh uh Jordan. Uh K Brack uh Kaba Brax has asked a question. He asks if uh, if Aristotle is the father of white supremacy and European colonism, uh with the um Hellenizing of the ancient world. What about it? He, he's asking is if you think that Aristotle is the father of white supremacy and European colonism with the Hellenizing of the ancient world. Well, I don't know if I would say he was the father of it, but I'm sure that he helped along and gave some information out. Because most of these guys that did know, they were very cautious about what they would say in public. Mm. Because they could be killed by the bankers if they talked too much. And so therefore, I think, yeah, maybe maybe so. Maybe they knew something we didn't know. And they were keeping it to themselves. And make sure that we don't know anything about it. Because they're going to keep you as a slave in your own country. They keep you as a slave in your own country. Yeah, the banksters, they 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 some they the real gangsters of the world. The banks I call that's what I call them. Just like you, I call them the banksters. Yeah. And, and these guys, man, or the uh what's that one the, uh they called um I seen it. You know the guy Peter Joseph wrote the Zeitgeist. Yeah. Uh he's a friend yeah. of mine. And Peter they, Joseph did Zeitgeist. Yeah. He I was in it. Yeah, you was in it. That's yeah, right. That's, that's right. right. That's exactly. That's exactly correct. You was in there. Peter um, Joseph was on, was on a radio show back then, and I've got the radio show in my website. It's on my web, and in it, Peter Joseph said 
he was asked, why did you make this video called Zeitgeist? What caused you to make it? And he said, Peter Joseph said, there was one man that I was listening to. His name was Jordan, Jordan Maxwell. Maxwell. That's right. And he is the basis for the whole thing. Without Jordan, I would not have a, a movie at all. He was the one that I was listening to. And I figured I'm waiting for him to do something. But since he hasn't done anything, I'll do it. So he yeah. said, so I made Zeitgeist. Mm, yeah, yeah, I remember that because I met him. In fact, we my Lost Children of Babylon, we did our, our last album, was called The Zeitgeist, and it came with the movie yeah. that you're in. So, yeah, yeah, it's awesome, man. And well, for, for those at home, that came out in 2017, and they can yeah. watch that now online. You know this chat room knows about that. Yeah, they know about it. <laughs> Speak about the, that's what, what I really wanted to go into. The, 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 the banks is connected to the economic hitmen because he spoke about that guy that was in that film and he revealed the guy who wrote that book called The uh, Confessions of a uh, Economic oh, Hitman yeah. and how they, how they work with the CIA to take down governments by putting them in debt. Like, again, if like you said. If they do that to our government, what are they going to do with you? <laughs> They can do it with big governments, uh, yeah. very powerful governments. They can take them down in a flip. No problem. Wow. You hit know, man. The, hit, the, so ec the economic hitmen. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Continue, Adam. Yep. What are they going to do with you? If the economic hitman can do it with a nation, how are they going to do it with you? You are no problem at all because they already own you. Mm. Mm. All governments on the earth are corporations. All governments are corporations. Uh, someone asked, uh, did you know Zachariah Stitchin? Oh, did I ever? I was his partner. Oh, wow. I was, his, I was Zachariah Stitchin's partner. I used to get him to speak at different, different, uh, you know, different places, and I get his books published for him. And I traveled with him, and he was my partner. Oh, wow. Man, that's, yeah. Wow. Dude, you knew everybody. Jordan just went up. He, man, we know Jordan yeah, went up for the dunk. Yeah, you just yeah, went yeah, up for yeah. the super slam dunk. Yeah. Jordan, man, you are definitely, truly a legend. How was Zachariah stitching? And, um, man, I, didn't, I had no idea that you worked on it. But I can tell by when, when you talk, I mean, it's just you go. You can go yeah. deep. You can go deep. So you know well, about the Sumerians and the ancient culture. Zechariah Sitchin didn't want me going deep. <laughs> he didn't like it. No, he didn't. He didn't talk like. He didn't. Him. He didn't want you to go deep. Talk to him. No. Talk to him. <laughs> what well, 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 did he want you to do? <laughs> talk like, to him. Why, because why did he not want me to go deep? Yeah. Because I was so well connected with him, people would think he was behind what I was doing. Mm. And I told him, mm. no, nobody's going to think that, Zechariah. I'm, I'm doing what I do. Right, you right, know? right. Uh, you call him so, Zach. And he was saying uh, he thought that what I'm doing is going to reflect on him. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. Zach and Ryan Stitchin oh, and Jordan Maxwell I, going yeah. into the coffee shop. Ooh, I, I can see tell team. you all kinds of stories about Zachariah Sitchin you've never heard before. All kinds of things that I have seen him do and heard him do and know about him that I've never told anyone. I, I, I've 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 Sorry. talked to somebody that watched one of his lectures, and they said he performed. He told the audience that he could he could, he could he could predict uh, times in the future, and he actually performed it on stage. Yeah, Can you speak a little. What, 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 what did he? I was always thinking like, what did he do? Because I wasn't there to see it, but you know. I like I said, I've heard him talk in private. Mm. For dinner wow, about coming on the earth and who's doing it and why. So I know what's happening because I've heard the, the best of the best speaking. Mm. I've heard talk about it. And so the people need to keep going to the ball games and watching the football and baseball and tennis ball and bowling ball and Golf ball and all the other silly ass ball games. <laughs> uh, we broke, bowling yeah. ball, croquet ball, and <laughs> ball and blue balls. Yeah. 
And it's good. Go into your ball games and don't worry about the future because you don't have no future. They own you. And you're just here to work and make money for the corporation to be a security for the body social. Right. And when you yeah. die, they'll give you Put social them. security. Right. Ooh. Right, right. Wow. That's it. If you keep your mouth shut. And don't ask any questions. So that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I started asking questions a long time ago. And the more the older I get, the more questions I've got. Now I've got some real doozies that nobody wants to talk about. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to. You know. Hey, Jordan. Yeah. Bring, where did the uh, Jesuits stem from? The Jesuits came from the 15th century. In, 15, in the 15th century, uh, Ignatius Loyola was a Catholic priest. And in the 15th century, there was a renaissance. And people started asking questions about the church and questioning whether the church was telling us the truth or not. Mm. And so Ignatius Loyola was very, very, very Catholic. And he wanted to defend the Pope mm. and defend the Holy Father. Mm. And so... He founded a group of priests that wanted to do whatever they could to protect the Pope from the people. And so he founded an order of Jesuits. The Jesuits are a very crafty, demonic, depraved group of people who are doing whatever they can to destroy America and to destroy the whole idea of asking questions. Nobody asks any questions. You don't question nothing. You keep your mouth shut. That's the Jesuit idea. Wow. So, as far as I'm concerned, I don't care what the Jesuits like or don't like. I ain't doing nothing. I'm not going to do anything they want. So I know who gangster. they are. Wow. That's that's gangster. What um What about the Templars? The Knight Templars. The Knight Templars were, uh, were a military group that was assigned to the Catholic Church to protect the Catholic Church. And they were going around setting up all of the all of the uh, accoutrements to the Catholic religion. And so they realized that the Catholic Church was new and they had to do something to show how the Catholic Church is part of something very, very old. So they came up with the idea the Knights Templars came up with the idea to help the Catholic Church by, by telling us the story of ancient Israel. In point of fact, there was, in fact, no ancient Israel ever existed. None of it. The whole of the New Testament is nothing more than a metaphor. It never existed. There was no King David, no King Solomon, no Queen of Sheba. There was no Old Testament, period because there was no ancient Israel. It never existed. And today there are professors in, in, in Israel who are coming out with books and saying there was no ancient Israel, it never existed. It's all a story put out there all over the world by the Knights Templars, by the Masonic Order, mm -hmm. which is a Masonic Order, it's a military Masonic Order, called the Knights of the Temple of Solomon. Mm -hmm. And they gave us the whole world of information about ancient Israel. And the ancient Israel this and the ancient Israel that and ancient Israel this. There was, in fact, no ancient Israel ever existed. Mm -hmm. Therefore, mm -hmm. all stories in the Old Testament are nothing but stories. I used to get in trouble. My mother would give me a beat me with a belt for telling stories. Well, that's what we've got in the New Testament is an Old Testament stories. Mm -hmm. and so yeah. And that's what it is. Yeah. There was no Old Testament. It never existed. Mm -hmm. The Knights of Malta. Yeah, the Knights of Malta, they are the mafiosi. They're the gangsters mm -hmm. of the Catholic Church. They're the ones that have to do with the Holy Father who speaks for God. He's a Godfather. They they are the ones that gave us the mafia. Mm. Malta Nostra. mafia, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, Italian. Italian secret societies. 
And so mm. you gotta work. You gotta watch out about them because they are killers. You know, I, I wanted to always say. I always said this that the the, the uh, so called Temple of Solomon over there is the yeah. original. Zechariah Sitchin brought this out. He said that it's really the Temple of Baalbek. The That's ancient right. Sumerian temple, and that the foundation that the, the so-called Israelites or Jews are building on the foundation of that ancient temple. That's so, right. So a lot of people are arguing back, and not only that, the the the, the Israeli Archaeological uh, Institute of uh, Ancient Studies they're actually excavating the Temple of Baalbek, but they're not really particularly telling anybody about it. I know, but I know that, and that's why I'm doing it. I'm doing it for them. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm telling the people there was, in fact, no ancient Israel ever existed, period. Mm -hmm. End of sentence. What about Islam? Islam was founded by the Knights Templars and promoted by the Jesuits. The Jesuits have promoted Islam for the Middle East to give the people of the Middle East something something crappy to worship and bow down and kiss their feet of the of their emperors and for the Jesuits. And so it's a, nothing but a, a whole business. Islam is a corporation. It's on the New York Stock Exchange. It's on the Washington, D.C. Stock Exchange. And Islam is on the London Stock Exchange. It's a corporation in the hands of the Jesuits. And that's an incredible story. Christianity. Christianity itself is sun worship, the worship of the sun. And that's why we call Jesus God's son. S-U-N, son. Why? Because he's risen. He's our risen savior. Well, of course, the damn thing rises every morning. About five o'clock it comes up, it rises. And so the Son of God is the S-U-N of God. The Son is our risen Savior. Why is it risen? Because it's our only hope for life. He gave us life, the Son of God, and, and our life is depending on the Son. Because without the Son, the earth is going to be frozen over so quick. It's going to be frozen over and there'll be no life on the earth forever and ever and ever again. So that's why this risen sun is risen. He is, uh, he is giving his light so that we can live. We can see in the daytime because of the sun. We're getting his warmth, and so we're getting his warmth. And one of the zodiological signs in the zodiac was the Virgo. Virgo was a virgin. And Virgo, <laughs> and Virgo, has control over the spring, mm. over the spring of the year, and so the sun comes I back to the air in spring, I have control, and, and, and bringing life back to the earth with the flowers that bloom and all the flowers and everything is blooming and everything's growing again because of the sun in the spring. Well, and the sun in the spring is in Virgo. That's why Jesus Jesus called God's son, who's born of a virgin, Virgo the virgin. Hmm. Catholic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're told we are told that uh, I mean I could go on for hours and days and days with all the, the stories, stories. That come from. <laughs> Love it. It's um, just an incredible story. I don't know. Um, the origin of the Kabbalah. Yeah. The Kabbalah was was brought about by the rabbis that were in Babylon. Mm -hmm. The Babylonian rabbis came up with the idea of a Kabbalah. Mm -hmm. And since then, all of the poor, innocent, ill-informed, <clears throat> unread knuckle-draggers and goofballs of the world have accepted the Kabbalah. Everyone loves the Kabbalah. That Why? Is. Because it's Babylonian and it's demonic and it's all the teachings of the old ancient Babylonian priest. And that's why today, you know, in the Middle East, there was something called the land of 
the land of, uh, who was it? Israel was the land of Cana. Have you ever heard of the land of Cana? You say, I'm sorry, Canaan, Cana, Cana? Right. Have you ever heard the word Cana? Yes. Yes. Okay, well, the land of Cana was what we call today Israel. Right, Can yeah. Okay, but Israel was called the land of Cana. And they worshiped the sun. And the sun was called Baal, B-A-L, Baal. Mm -hmm. And today we have a sun which is a Baal, B-A-L-L, -L, not B-A-A-L, Baal. And so in Baal worship, the old ancient Israel, the ancient people of Israel, were not Israelites. There was no ancient Israel, but it was the land of Cana. In the land of Cana, they worship a god, and he was a god, a big statue, and in front of this big statue was a big pool, and they would fill the pool up with oil and burn it. And while it was burning with the oil, they throw their children into the fire. And so after the children died, when they were thrown into the fire to worship Baal, the sun god, they were, they were, when the sun was, when the children died, after the fire went out, the Canaanites had the priesthood and the Canaanites had to eat the bodies. Mm. They were, they were required to eat the bodies of the children that they had burned. Mm. And so that's what we get to work today. Baal worship from the land of Cana gives us Cana Baal. Cana Baal. Right. Yeah, cannibals. 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 Right. Yeah. Right. Wow, wow, man, this is heavy, man. This is this. God, tune whoa. in, man. Hit that subscribe, yo, man. man. Make sure, yo, Jordan, man. Hit them likes. Hit them subscribe, yo. Got to pay the bills. Hit them super super, super chat. Make make sure yeah. you got also make sure you guys go and subscribe to Jordan. Become a part of his website, you know, because we need this information. You know, we do this for a reason. Most on, on, people don't on realize they need it. Most people don't realize what they have in me. Mm. Mm. They don't realize who I am and what they have in me. I'm bringing the real, unadulterated truth to the people of this world. Mm. I'm telling you for sure, you don't know what's going on. You need to know what's happening and why and what it means and what the words mean and where they come from. And it's just an incredible story about how much you don't know. Mm. The origin of Catholic. Catholic. Catholic is a Latin word, which means it comes from the Roman Empire. Yep, yep, yep. yep. It means, and the Catholic means universal. And so therefore, air is Catholic. Water is Catholic. Stupidity is Catholic. Because it's all over the world. And anything that's all over the world is Catholic. It's universal. It's everywhere. And so today we have a Catholic church, which is a, which is a Roman religion of Caesar all over the world, including the Empire State of New York. And New York is the Empire State of World Communism. And that's what the Catholic Church is a part of all of this stuff. And so therefore, when you see the Pope just remember, he's the Holy Father who speaks for God. He's a Godfather. Mm. So, we have one. We have another question from Johnny Taylor. He asks, "What do you think about David Ike?" I like David. David is a good guy. I like him. I'm the one that brought him to America. Wow. Back in 1991, I was introduced to David Ike. And I brought him here. I brought him to America, and I brought him to my office, and I paid for him to come over here, and I got and I got him on radio and television, and got his books published, yeah, and I right there, that David likes book. Yeah. So I've been in I've been in touch with all of these people. Mm. Nobody seems to remember Jordan Maxwell anymore. Oh uh, no, we do. Everybody, no, no, Jordan, no, no. Man, what don't, you talking don't about? Don't feel that man. way. Don't yeah. ever feel like that. Yeah, you know, this is why we have you on the platform. Yeah, and we're um, gonna hook you up. And yeah. um, you here, and um, we all pushing, pushing, 
to help you. And, and you know, you got a home here. Like I said, um, you could always come over here and um, let the people know. We'll let the people know for you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That you have, we, we understand what you went through, but we're going to get you to where we can do something right. We're going to go send everybody to your website and do, uh, we're going to do the justice what, that you What deserve. about a GoFundMe? Maybe like a GoFundMe. For yeah, I, I said that. Oh, I, some sort it's of go. Well, well, go. Oh, go fund me. Like a fundraiser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, like yeah, that'd be good. Go fund me. Yeah. Uh, I don't for George Maxwell. Have anything? I don't have anything. Yeah. I'm broke. I've got nothing. But I'm 80 years old. I'm still working to make sure everybody hears. But I'm 80 years old and I don't own anything. I don't have any money. I'm broke. And don't know how I'm going to stay alive any longer. So that's why I would like to have people come to my research website and join my research website. Just go on jordanmaxwellshow.com. And we go on jordanmaxwellshow.com. Rogers. Say it again. No, somebody got a question about Rogers. I, I saw it, but I, I don't see. I don't see what the question was. Somebody had a question from Rogers? Yeah, I don't think so. Right, Continue, well, Jordan. Go. Say yeah. it again. No, just continue what you were saying. You know, so yeah. Let's try to we're gonna try to hook up a GoFundMe for you so we can get you get you at least get you some cash. You know what I'm saying? So you can go. Do you have a caretaker or anybody helping you? No. Okay. Well, um, we I don't live in your state, but we got we we, we could do is we can get the fi finances to you. So at least you have some. Uh, if you just go on my Jordan Maxwell show, right, right, my website, and on the right hand side of the home page, you will see a sticker that says donate. Right. If you click on the donate button, it takes you right to the. Right to the bank, and you can type in how much you want to donate, and that's it. Right. And I get it immediately. Oh, okay. Oh, right. so it's like that. So, hey, everybody in the uh, super chat room, please donate to the Jordan Maxwell Show dot com. Yeah, and go to my research website and get the research website if you want to hear the whole story. It's okay. all there. <laughs> Man, we would love to hear the whole story. Yeah, yeah. Just a part of the story is so good, man. I mean, just piece of the story, but the whole story is just phenomenon. And I remember get... I remember you spoke about the Hegelian dialect. Yeah. On the one gen. Can you speak about that? Well, Hegel was a German and he's he was always talking about how if you're gonna if you're gonna control people, you've got to give them stories. And so that's what the stories were called, the Hegelian stories or the Hegelian dialects. And that's what we are doing right now. We're giving out Hegelian information. Mm. With our information, which is going to cause a lot of trouble if people listen, because they're going to learn something they never heard before. Yeah. And that's I want to do that. I want to cause people to question everything. Right. Mm. Well, yeah. It, it, it. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. yeah. So, yeah, once again, everybody, um, make sure you donate to jordanmaxwellshow.com. Yeah, to, to you can go on the right the... hand side of the home page and you'll see a donate button. Yeah. And look to some of the shows I've done. Oh, man, we saw them. Yeah. Well, well, you saw know, numerous some, thousands of shows you've done, yeah. uh, Jordan. But some yeah. people, some people may have not you seen them, so you know you might want to go and jump on there and subscribe, subscribe to that, and help the, the Grand Master Elder, you Jordan know, Maxwell. of the Information Age. You know what I mean? You know, get yeah. what needs to get done. So you've heard of elder abuse, huh? You've yeah. heard of elder abuse, elderly abuse. Uh, uh, I heard about it, but I don't like to think about it. You know, I don't want to, you know. 
Yeah. They're not. Uh, no one abusing, abuse. abusing your elders. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I mean, you, you gotta look at it like coming from what Jordan is saying. It's like you know, well, you don't, you don't have no as an elder, That's and deep. you don't have nobody there. That is kind of abusing your elders, man, because everybody needs to. Have, you get that, you get to that age, up in in, in life. That's why you we need, gotta take care of our you gotta, elders. You gotta take care of your elders. You have to. You can't just put grandpa in a uh, you know old folks home. Nah, man, you, you let him stay at home, and you go go talk to him. You know, he can walk around in the backyard, or you can go take him fishing sometime. You know what I mean? Well, you know, I'm just, just you can't just leave people, leave people. You know, you know what I mean? Because, because in my opinion, oh. you, you need the elders around. Yeah, I know, but so many people today think, well, what have you done for me lately? Yeah. Well, lately I haven't done much of anything because I'm 80 years old. I can't do very much. Right. Well, that's what I've done for you lately. <laughs> it's the last 80, it's the last 60 years of my life I have put into my work. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, K-Bob um, Praxis says salute to your, what's that, so Sophistry Jordan? Say it again. He says salute to your Sophistry Jordan. It's masterful. Sophistry. Sophistry, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, no, I think he said sophistry. Yeah, it's an SAT word, so I'm not good at the pronouncing. Yeah. But he said salute to your sophistry. And then we yeah. got, we missed another one up here. Uh, let's see. I went by fast. Uh, shout out to Hanzo. So we got, wait a minute, Catholics. Keep so the in mind, Keep in mind... All the stuff that's on my research society, there's just tons of tons of documents and pictures, photographs, and all kinds of information that nobody has. But keep in mind, I have tons of more stuff that's going to go on my website. So if you join my website every day, check it out, and there's always going to be more and more and more. Because I've got so much I have been doing over the past 60 years, and I've been saving it all for my webmaster to put it on my website. So just remember, that's where it's all at, is on my website. Yeah, that's dope. Um, How much longer are is the show? Um, no, nah, you you good, man. We got enough information from you. I think that, um, um, I mean... Everybody who got the super chat, if you want to um, ask them a question, you really want to go there? I mean, they go ahead, ask, ask. Go ahead, ask them. Uh, Roberto Reyes uh, wants to know your thoughts on the flat earth, uh, or whether the earth is flat or the earth, earth is round, or as a ball. <laughs> you know what? When it comes to the flat earth, I am like most other people. I don't believe it, but the flat earth people must have, they actually have a lot of good information that makes you think. And so I can't say for sure because I don't that's know. That's my man. Makes you think. All right, see, but Jordan is my see, man. That's what I'm saying. Can't say for sure. Jordan. Talk that can't talk, Jordan. Hey, uh, you know. Talk that it talk, is a thing. Jordan, Jordan. Well, we're not trying I to go into you. this topic right now, but <laughs> all right, go ahead all right, and say a much. sentence. I was about to ask Uncle. I was about to ask Uncle Jordan, man. Okay. I was about to ask him something, but go we talked. We, we talked to an astronomer. We had an astronomer on here. You know, the, you know, kill priest had an astronomer on here, and he he proved, in my opinion, that the Earth was round because he said he went to the, the top of the. What did he say he going to? He lives in like um yeah, near the North Pole. Take a trip with him or something. Or whatever, and they go to, to, to near the northern lights, and you could actually see the curvature of the Earth. Is what he's saying, like where he goes to observe the stars. But we, well, have, but we I, have no photos. I but, look at the moon photos. and it's round. I look at the sun and it's round, and the sun represents gold because it's a golden sun, mm -hmm. and the moon represents silver because it's silvery moon, and so I know that gold and silver comes from the sun and the moon. And I know that everything in the heavens is round. So why aren't we round? That's, 
Because we're not in the heavens. Okay, next question. <laughs> so, <laughs> nothing but respect for your work, but how does all this symbolic esoteric info relate to the body self? That's a question from Jay Prince. He's asking, uh, go ahead. What? He's, uh, Jay Prince is asking, um, how does all the symbolic esoteric info relate to the body self the soul? soul? Well, you're not going to understand anything about the body. You're not going to understand anything about the soul if you don't know that the bigger picture and that you don't know what the bigger picture is. And so you're not going to understand anything until you do look into all of the dark secrets of the world. Most people are too ignorant to look into anything. They just want their basketball and they want their basketball and football. And so they don't want to look into anything. Well, I know that without looking into the dark secrets of the world, you're never going to understand anything. So that's that's what I want. I don't want to go through life. I don't want to go through life ignorant, ill-informed, and ignorant and stupid. I want to be at least knowledgeable on every subject in the world. I don't care what it is. I want to know at least uh, how to talk about it in public. Well said. Well said. Yes. Yes. Well said. That was beautiful. Well, I say, man, uh, I want to just always, we always thank you, but I just want to, we always have to thank you, Jordan. Uncle Jordan. That's the Uncle Jordan. That's, that, that's what I call you. And thank you for the information. Thanks for the knowledge. And I'm not going to lie to you. I've, I've used your information to enlighten people in my life. You know what I'm saying? When I was a very young man, I'm 43 years old now. But in my in my in my teens and in my twenties and in my thirties, I've always I've always said, yo, you need to listen to Jordan Maxwell. Go 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 read his go read his books and go listen to his lectures. Cause he'll confirm what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know what I mean? I used, yeah. to, I used to say you was the deepest, man. Out of yeah, all you of was the actually the deepest. Out of all mm -hmm. of them, I I I think that my my hat goes off to Jordan as one of the deepest. Cause I heard when I heard you break down the um the sun, yeah. On the what was it, Exxon? The, oh, the double cross, that. the double cross of the Exxon. Yeah, yeah, that. That was Yo, incredible. That was, that was that was profound. That was profound. Because sometimes you know you'll and build. The, it's the right. Sun from sun. What's that sun do? No, the gas station. The, the gas station symbol is a, is a symbol of uh, you say Amun Ra, right? Or the sun, the sun at. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, he was explaining that the sun was rising, and you saw oh, the picture. Oh, yeah. right, right. The double cross. Exxon, right. Yeah, Exxon. Yo, break down the um the Exxon. That love, man, that was that, that was, was crazy. Deep. The that double was cross. That was that. That, that was, was one that, of the best that ones. Was dope, man. I, I really love that. Yeah, well, I've been talking about this stuff for a long, long time, <laughs> and I've been talking about what was coming to America and what the people were going to do to this country. And why? Because the people don't realize they're not owners of this country. They don't own anything. That we are nothing more than a commodity. They own us. We're on the stock market. And we're on the stock market of the, of the New York Stock Exchange. And so many people do not understand that, that we are not anything. We don't have anything. We've got nothing. We don't own anything. And we have nothing. And therefore, we can't say anything because we don't know anything. And you're not going to, you're not going to rip off people who are highly, highly intelligent. Mm -hmm. But that's why America is so incredibly ripped off and lied to and cheated because they don't know what's going on. Knowledge is power. And without the power of knowledge, you can't tell what's going on. That's right. So that's why I, I do what I do. I'm trying to help people to wake up. And you're doing a good job of that. You're turning on the light. You you um blowing the whistle. Um you turn on the light for so many other youth and um even older guys and girls and women and children all over the world. Um shout out to you from hundred uh from hundred blacks. I want to shout out to a hundred black rock. Uh, there was another one too, A D. Oh, there we go. Here comes that beeping. Yeah. Hey, Jordan, you've been you've been great, man. I, I want you to go get your um, you know, go get some. You dropped a lot of jewels on us. I think that um we had enough. 
I mean, you know what I'm saying? We never yeah. have enough. Never have enough. Never yeah. have enough, but I, I think we that... We can uh, always do it later. We can always do more later. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Well, so I'll go. Yeah. We just want to let you know um, we're going to send you out beautiful. We want to tell you that, you know, the love is always here and it's genuine and we cherish your work for uh, forever. Yes. What's that sound? What is that sound? Is it, you okay? That's what happened last time. Last, last, last time that happened. You got an alarm going off. Say it again. You said you have an alarm. Do you have an alarm going off in the background? Well, I don't hear it myself, but I know I've heard that story before, so I don't hear it, but I'm going to go now well, and let's do, else, let's do something else. Let's do something else later. Let's do it again uh, later, another yeah, time. Somebody else talking. All right. It's Illuminati. Yeah, yeah I, man, I, I don't know. You don't hear that? Yeah, you don't hear it. No, really working don't hear well. it. No, you know how that oh. go. All right. All right. You don't hear it. I, All well, right, uh, Jordan. Thank you so much for your time, sir. Yeah, other people and we'll, okay. we'll be in touch again for the next uh, appearance. Okay, let's All do right. it. All right. Bye-bye. God bless. Bye. Bye-bye. See what the Illuminati did? <laughs> That, that, that happened last time. I think it happened on the same time, yeah, also. Time. So it it's the same time. Alarm, yeah. You don't think it? You don't think it's a fire alarm? Yeah? Uh, like it's definitely. Fire alarm, well, fire alarm sound. I don't know. Like, <laughs> not a fire alarm. Why are you say a fire alarm? No, sometimes it sound like that. It was. It was I'm definitely an like, alarm, but I don't think it was fire. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, man. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I just don't think it was a fire alarm. Oh, so you're saying he got an alarm in there? Yo? I think it's... He got an alarm that he sets the time be... when he talks to people? No, for talk to people, I think it's set for every day at 7.30 for some reason. Yeah, but he said that he don't he can't hear it. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. You think he... I don't know. Said it, was said, it was said before. <laughs> it was said before. I don't know. He said... He just said, like, oh, everyone says that they hear this noise, and mm-hmm. I don't hear it. We got... <laughs> We got 611 <laughs> people in the building, yo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was good, though. That was we awesome, got a man. lot of information. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah. I'm telling you, enlightenment. Yo, shout out to Con Hearts once again. Shout out to uh, Nene. Uh, a shout out to everybody who's been um, um, supporting. You know what I'm saying? We're going to support um, uh, Jordan. Yeah, yes, yes. And um, let me say this. Uh, another thing is um, we, have to t- we have to take care of the elders who are really... Yeah, you know, paved the way and cats that um, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, I, I heard out Doctor Ben, you yeah. know, passed away. That was it was sad, you know. what I'm saying Doctor Ben has been <laughs> doing it for a very long time, and it's it's crazy. It's like you know, it's kind of not to cut you off. Yeah, God, well, go ahead, cut but, me off, but, God. No, I'm sorry, God. No, that's good. But you know, when I found when I when when I found <laughs> I don't know about you, right? Like when you found out Doctor Ben was in, in where he was at, right, and he was going through what he was going through. Like, I, I kind of thought in the back of my mind, no disrespect to anybody in the conscious community or a part of the, uh, you know, his, anybody that's his students. But I just kind of feel like Dr. Ben, in my opinion, shouldn't have went out like that. He shouldn't have been on, like, an old folks' home, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I would... Ah, man. I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got five eighty. Yeah, that's deep. That's that is just like damn. So that's, you can't you can't just keep just throwing the old the gods the older gods the elder gods. You know you just can't just throw them in the corner. You just throw them over there. You know what I mean you can't do that. But that's what they do to a lot of us, man. When we get I'm not I'm not that of that age. But I I, I wouldn't want the young young youth to you know to leave you like that. Yeah, leave me like that, man. You know what I'm saying? It's that's like kind of crazy. Chop you off. <laughs> Just drop you off. Yeah, they come man. over there. They want to talk to you about Heyru and Horus and Osiris. The can you can you write the hieroglyph for me? Yo, this guy's in his. You know, what I mean? he's about to pat. You know, what I mean, move on to the next world. You know, what I mean, that's and good like, trouble, man. I don't but, know. I don't know, man. Well, that's 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 good. One thing, one thing you got to do is um, we have to honor them and give flowers while they're here. A lot of people ran. You know, thought about DMX. Yeah, and he's around, and um, they knew he had a problem, and you no, know, no one does, no one knows the time when when is your time. No yeah. one knows. You never know. You know, Tupac. It goes, it goes way back. I mean, this story's going. They probably was talking about that like for the pharaohs. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. Somebody could have been sitting around the pharaoh, and it's no joke. But they could have been like, "Yo, man, 
I should have told him. You know what I'm saying? Told him. He should have told him when it, when it was, you know. When it was like, yeah. Like, when nobody said nothing, and next thing you know, he dead. Yeah. He's a mummy. He's and, a mummy. and then Cass is like, yeah. And, and yeah, Cass back then that was talking outside the tomb. And we have to look. I want to ask about Bitcoin. All right, so let's get into the music. We got 580, uh, we got 578 people in the building. Let's get to the music. We have a lot of people that um, sent in some music. So we're going to view your music right now. I'm really so high right now off this. Like, uh, off the build. Yeah, off like, the build I mean? and the, the tea and the Just watermelon. The watermelon. Feeling good. Now remember, watermelon is the only fruit that's red, black, and green. Red, black. Ah, wow. Don't talk junk about that's it. Yo, I, I never... I never right looked at it like that. It's still t- that's it's a wow. Well. And you, we were walking, looking at the tigers, right? Yeah, the tigers, tigers love it. Tigers love, yeah, and love lions, watermelon. all of the jaguars, right? They the jaguars. know they know something about that watermelon. Right. You see what the white man did, right? The white man came in and had motherfuckers thinking that oh, the, this Africans are savages. They all they eat is watermelon, and they put that in American. Uh, Why would you think that? that, of that a fruit. That's what they did, though. The white man did that. Had motherfuckers uh, thinking like, yo, they, 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 you know, they stereotype the watermelon. So now you got well, blacks thinking they, they now you got blacks they don't want to eat watermelon because they seen they seen the white man do that in the sixties and the fifties and then the forties and the thirties. They made all kinds of movies it's about it. It's a fruit, it. man. It's a fruit. <laughs> it's actually really good for you. You should eat watermelon. We eating it right now. Good in source. Fact. Of, good source of magnesium. Yeah, indeed, indeed, are be, indeed. Are you gonna say somebody? Yeah. Watermelon is good. Like well, they got a lot of juice in it too. Mm-hmm. I know white people that eat watermelon 24 7. They eat it like this, though. Mm-hmm. 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 Dre Mills. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm. Cold, right? Oh, man. Shout out to Dre Mills. Okay. I reach out to Tahuti tomorrow. Mm-hmm. All right. Time for the song promotions. Let's go. 553 people in the building. We are building up. Yes, sir. Let me say something to y'all. I want to I want to personally thank the chat room because of y'all, we are building up and um, yeah. becoming a community. I also want to thank Con Hart and I want to thank Nene because and all of the donations. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We are building up and we are talking about things that everybody is not going to talk about. We, have, we need this in these times, true dialogue where we can communicate on high levels, on levels that they don't think that we're, it's possible. The great Jordan Maxwell just came and said the same right. thing. That's and right. now you are capable of doing anything. All you have to do is get out of your own way. A lot of us are too scared because we are in our own way, blocking ourselves from the energy force. And it's you. Step out of your own way and do your thing. Let, let the energy that's in you flow Freely, whatever you want, you can do. Mm-hmm. Anything's possible. Let's go. Hell yeah! All right. So every show we have a uh, segment that we call song promotions. Song promotion. Man, I didn't drop the way I wanted it that to. That was fire. Actually, that was hot. That who did that beat? That was me. AD. Oh, you did that? Yeah. Oh, shit. I just had the, the camera co- covered it up. Uh, I may have to do that one more again. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Because I had it all set. You know what? It's because when we work with Zoom, it's, it gets all crazy. Song there you go. Yeah. All right. Let's get right to it. So the first one is Rakim Kali. He's got a song called uh, Down With The System. Uh, by Amal J. Let's go. Here we go. Let the games begin. I'm activated from the rage within. I'm stimulated when I bait my pen. Irritated by my fake ass friends. Participated every stage of sin. Levitated to a state of zen. Agitated by the space I'm in. Contemplated bringing life to an end. Concentrated not to ruin again. again. Concentrated not to ruin again. Hey yo. I'm mindlessly concocting masterpieces. Your pastors preaching Jesus while imposters clapping teachers. So we rocking ninja socks and sneakers. Scalping false prophets in the dark mass in the mystic ethers. Boss Jerry, there's no church, yet we so prestigious. While low life niggas remain in bottom beaters. The so called elite, I shall fight them. Damn it. 
Sending him eternally like ad infinitum. Return of the gods, I rap one snipe. I'm hit him in the dawn piece. Put the chrome to their brain, watch him hit their knees. No mercy for this fool. They stole our home piece. We taking it back, all eating no wrong grease. One, two, three. Hit him in their dawn piece. Put the chrome to their brain, watch him hit their knees. No mercy for these fools. They stole our home piece. We taking it back, all eating no wrong grease. From inside. Manipulate the space between time, you know why Was born with greatness, patiently waiting for my shine I came from the sky, but I came with supplies That'll change your pain into fire You see this octopus higher, perceive my cosmic empire King cosmic the prophet, I got the keys like a locksmith No monotony is pop, and increase your vibe When you rock with us, we blind with the mob That will feed your mind, no aside Because lead the blind through apocalypse I shine through the dark of the sky A marks me the hawk with the eye Just be cautious when you target this guy One, two, three, hit them in their own piece. Put the chrome to their brain, watch them hit their knees. No mercy for these fools, they stole our home piece. We taking it back, all eating no wrong grease. One, two, three, hit them in their own piece. Put the chrome to their brain, watch them hit their knees. No mercy for these fools, they stole our home piece. We taking it back, all eating no wrong grease. I'm second verse. Make some noise for that, yo. Yo, that shit was right. hard. Yo, yeah, yo. and right there in that super chat, that's the yo, Mark that of Buddha dope, man. right there. Yo, dope. shout out to Mark of Buddha, yo. That was fire, yo. Keep Mark that Buddha, going. man. Keep it up, yo. I'm, I, there's no words I can say. When, when that was fire. Say. I got nothing. The, the first guy was dope, though. The, yeah, the, oh, lyric, yeah. the, the first lyricist? Yeah, yeah, he was dope. He was, he was off the chain. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was like, okay. This, this no, I, awesome. I think that was a hook too. That was, that was like, that was like, hook. It was dope. Okay, okay. I got yeah. no engineering tips on that one either. Yeah, yeah. Like, see, see, see. Now you got AD is the master. That quali- that I got quality. nothing to He's say. The master. Yeah, that so, quality. Uh, yeah. it, this is what we talk about. It. Coming with that type of quality. That's what we I'm talking about. We can hear about. it. We like the song. It's a dope. song like ready have. to go. You gotta have it like that, yo. Dope. That's how we gotta have it. You just gotta deliver it. When you gonna send it to the, to the podcast, man? Just make sure it sound good. You get you get a great rating. You know. AD, AD is the is the controller of the rocket. As far so, as the engineering goes, it was dope. Yeah, there you good go. good mix, good master. You hear everything they saying. Mm-hmm. You hear the beat, the bass line, the, the snare. I mean, the whole <coughs> no, the whole nine yards. You get that head bob. Once your once your body yep, starts yep, responding yep. See, see, to the head bob, see, your body will tell you like, yo, you feeling this? That's what I'm talking about. That's the idea of actually feeling a track. Yeah. Okay, fine. moving on. Next one is by Red Sun. Red Sun has a few of these, so get ready. A oh, Red Sun. Red Sun. Yeah. You know about him? Red Sun. That's that's black. That's black excellence. Oh, black yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, that's, no, that's yeah, the, for yeah. Philly, right? For Philly. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah play yeah. him. Yo, we got four tracks by Red Sun. We oh, tend to play, man. Yeah, he chopped them. Remember, he said. Yeah. He said he, he he said yo from the now. last show. Yo, I'm about to get him on the song. Now, yeah. We're going to have him. Yo, Everybody I'm already excited. hyped. Everybody hyped about this I'm guy. Excited. I'm excited yeah. to hear what the brother got. Yeah, okay, yeah, this yeah. song is called Hunger Pains. Oh, man. All right. All right. Get up, it's early, your back eating your ribs My ribs believe in my insides Where the food at is what we gotta get going Moving, no luggage included But my bread is ready for the movement Get up, it's early, your back eating your ribs My ribs believe in my insides Where the food at is what we gotta get going Moving, no luggage included But my bread is ready for the movement Yo, You break it into your mug Spill your cappuccino while your fix will be on drugs A metal pipe can hit you Leave your ass on concussion Attorney take you to your leak Get your ass discussions until you're on your feet A stick with how it was in your drawers Looking for the thug When pipe yell out Your whole melon bell out My shit is the buzz Knock on your sneaks while you standing with your bug Hit the light switch Break the cord out of plug Karate backflips Old school like Elmer Fudd Them kids on them drugs Cool out, the heat tipping, volcano flow, proclaim Diablo vision, ballers won't hold pivot, you bitchin' now when the hood is hard like candy, cavity your lips up, for sipping the game like hot content spill ups, you the type to earn mix up, so we double the VIX up, what up? Get up, it's early, your back eating your ribs, my ribs believe in my insides, where the food at is where we gotta get going, moving no luggage included, but my bread is ready for the movement. Get up, it's early, your back eating your ribs, my ribs believe in my insides. Where the food at is where we gotta get going. Moving, no luggage included, but my bread is ready for the movement. Who am I? A winner, a survivor, not a liar, no. Not a whiner, no. Became a rider, yes. 
When the walls cut and widen, danger real defeating knowledge. Myself, I'm wiser, a fighter, a strong individual. Thought of who I am, now who you are. So, really, who you are? A crier, I hope not. In the fire or a determined. Yo, yo, I'm actually right. supposed to play this from right here. I want to make sure I get his verse oh. in. My bad. Yeah, yeah. I really believe in my insides. Where the that food at is where we gotta yeah. get going. Moving no luggage like included, but my bread is ready for the movement. Get up as early. Yeah, I think this is a group. I, I fucked up. I'm supposed to play this at 2.33. Yo, play his song. Yo, this is his song. But what? like, I think his you verse gotta... comes okay. in. Yeah, I was supposed to start it at 2.33. That was my ah, bad. shit. Dang. Hold up, hold up. Pulling your back, eating your ribs. My ribs believe in my inside. It sounds dope, We're the food yeah, yeah. where we got to get going. Moving, no luggage included. But my friend is ready for the movement. I'm a prophet from a holy land. Walk through my golden this sand. Scorpions rest in my yeah. hand. Contain a design. Control a pyramid skyline. Find a dazzle kind and make the sunshine recline. Design. Innovate, industrious, some pernicious decline. The streets doing all the talking, then it's time to respond. You play a pawn for the regime standing behind. Check. Relinquish the edge to define and refine. Check. Implicate me and A when they tried to confine. Face this time, we combine like lemon and lime. Psycho psychiatry mastermind. Reading the plague blind. A train running over your head is what I call a one track mind. Resplendent, outpatient, it'll be coming time. The gift of kids don't know what he said, but it missed some shit. This verse is a purple. Quiz it, the outer limit. Hold the hook, I gotta finish it. Perplex pestilence, reflect fiends and quarantines. My reverie awake the dead soldier, savagely craving. Get your eye pecked out by a ravenous raven. I'm a laughing hyena, Mohican. Decent, this secret weapon backfire. I got older and wiser. Now I save all my money. I became a miser. Official, got me pensive, personal. You fall in the pearl, obstacle portal. I'm so deep, my CD comes with an instructional manual. Yo, you know, can I, can I, cause he from Fred, right? right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yo, I'm gonna give you a rating. This is uh black what? Black excellence. Black excellence, man. You, black excellence, man. You on a whole whole another level on the Philly chambers, because you sound like I'm not saying like you sound like us, but somebody said, yeah, you sound like you got you brothers that y'all in Philly right now. Rapping like that, y'all, y'all the new, y'all the new cats. It sounds, it sounds excellent. It sounds superb. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I, I think that's awesome. I, I, we got to bring him in. You know what I mean? Bring him, bring him in, and keep sending the songs in, man. Keep sending yeah, the songs. Got four more. Uh, I got, I got, I got, I got two more for Red Sun. Oh, okay. 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 So okay. that one was called Hunger Pains. This one, next one is called Cannibal Holocaust. Cannibal Holocaust. He got, he got the names though. Yeah. <laughs> Oh wait, I'm sorry. Yo, I'm from, we got I'm three from, more. We got three more. I'm from Philly and, and Priest. He Priest. He, he like he like the lost. They like the lost children. The new the new law. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. Okay, here we Priest go. Priest found them. I gotta start Pri this you one. Know Priest, you found us, or we found yeah. you. <laughs> I gotta start well, this one at two minutes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. Okay, here we go. Starting this at two minutes, like he said. Boom. The lyrics is dope though. The cannibals. <laughs> Desire for your blood, no earn for the love. Yeah. We pull them out the plug, yeah, the Holocaust. The cannibals, the cannibals, the Holocaust. You're not going to eat me. The cannibals, you're not eating me. Cannibals, you're not eating me. So I'm in this cannibal holocaust Warning, the mask pouring Stretch my claws, face touring The mad baby burst out his mommy like a species She died, never cried, just evil laughs Spit broken glass, was flourished with slaughter And taught torture under the floors of war zones no matter what you do, don't put on no earphones. My traps left the feast for the beast, left the chest while open for beats. Watch the creep like crawlers levitate a station where vampires sleep. Drink mud, jungle thug, bug, side fish, wrist cut, three fingers, four arm, three chives, see the light. Hungry bitch, take a bite in this religion. Fight for your end. A bow to make his jaw spin like Will of Fortune Sticks sticking out his ribs, that's the ill force And for same confusion, which doctor took it? Ingredients for the secret recipe Eyes closed but looking Take gut, boo you in a pot, boo you in a knot Untie, I don't talk your language in a courtroom I lie, for the rotten pie And deny, cross my heart, hope to die My own tribe would kill me, they eat you alive And die cannibals, the foot tribe, the river tribe The Okomos don't want no parts left Darts. 
You probably won't never make it to see a cannibal Get ate by an animal Dismantle you, disintegrate, dispose Your science cake, disperse Conceive a cannibal, I don't discriminate She took me on a dinner date Humans gotta gain and weight Plus she having my baby, this sweet cannibal lady She act weird and it's crazy, she crazy She said she wanna go back with me to Philly And leave a child, she said she'll do whatever it take and the snake, she looked down and saw my empty plate She said, why you not eat? I said, cause I can't relate Cause all it got on the menu was kids and steak She said, taste these I said, no, she said, please I said, the only humans I eat is some seeds Back in the back cave, I hold my back brave Like the caveman did, swinging a heat wave Bashing the head, I call that a brainwave Still yeah, that's, that's yo, verse song hey, from Black Pain. Excellence, man, you gotta hit us up, yo. Yo, that's my yo, that that's my hard. rap partner. <laughs> oh yeah, no doubt. You got the last verse on Hunger Pains. Oh, okay. Oh, it was him saying that. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, Hunger Pains kind of confused me. I mean, the There's first, the first song, it. yeah, first song confused me a little bit. Yeah, yeah, but no, no, the last verse we know, we know, we know, we know who you are, God. Those brothers was great too. Uh, what I'm but, sound like remind me of nature. Yeah, yeah. Oh, um From Queens? Yeah. That the first Yeah, that man. Yo, it was all it was razor sharp, man. Black excellence, man. Mm -hmm. Hit me up, brother. Okay, so this next one is in a way that we've never done before. Uh let's see. Hold on, let me try. That's, to um, right that's excellence? That, yeah. That's well, black oh, excellence? You're spit. Oh, okay. That's so him? yeah, so he's gonna do a little something here. He just he's it's gonna live? do like a freestyle. Not live, but it's a video of him. Oh, okay. okay. So let me oh, set this, oh, this up. Oh, the third song. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I want to set this up here so you can see, see it. Tan and water. Tan and water. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got so many scenes in this thing. Hold on. <clears throat> Where's my YouTube? Here we go. Boom. The tiger. Here we go. And action. Touchdown, you know this guards round, queens get a king crown, royalty gold now, in my palace, my people repellish, give them a pound of knowledge of unknown architecture, cause what they taught was mystery and history, scrolls from out of the sea, you hear it, Native American nature spirit, I write this with the same minds to build the pyramids, and I pour Jews in Egyptian puzzling schools, and my bars is UFOs to drop clues, I'm Horus, fresh out the black lotus, you notice, the righteous poet, the righteous poet, the right branches from my brain grows in the magma smoke my thoughts root hair and lay low then step out the volcano divine truth of vine known time power was spiritual it's a miracle his first words was lyrical material was critical snatched the devil out the space vehicle 187 born to the physical yo talk that yo, talk yo 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 that was hard this, 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 this yeah, 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 yeah he got it he got it. he got kind of like a you dope. know wow yo black excellence we coming for you, yo. We gonna have to. We gonna have to like it's rhymes. We have to bring him out here. It's like we got. Yeah. Yo, DM me your number, brother, <laughs> so we can get you doing on some stuff, man. Like, yo, you you on fire right now, man. Yeah. You okay, this fire. next one. That's him again. Yeah, you this, got this is his last one. This is his fourth <laughs> one. <laughs> All right. Uh, this one is called Black Allah Nine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me get it set up here because this was this is the first time we do an Instagram video. Hold up, I'm gonna make it full screen and boom. Hold up, hold up, I gotta, I gotta refresh it. Boom, boom. Damn it. Okay, here we go. Built my god on with the golden hearts, the metal sparks, the surface lurking in my art vision, dark and lost parts, a slick tongue. Glide to speak to see the weak, they eat the treat in the street. We've done them glances, fang slobber on a pillow, my sheets. Don't ever seek the way he creep for your prosperity. <laughs> Willie Lynch conspiracy theory was all military ideas that was learned from us by the Europeans. They backstabbed and the blade came out the front of the chest. I think a Yaku with the amber rule, correct and an animal that they eat the other animals. We followed the manual of false promises, the path of Moses. Torah, rest between the rings of fire, divide the wisdom and become the water across the border, left and right hand, Sodom and Gomorrah, due to data form of Arabia, black Asia, savior in hell, America, her mass hysteria, area, she took care of but now she bankrupt, too much towards, towards my metaphor, metaphor, you never met her before, so what you think, metal for, combined and made mega force. Yo. Yo, he, he, wow. yo, you're a spitter, you're a spitter, you're yo. straight lyricist, yo. Yeah. And I'm spitter. from Philly, I'm from Philly, yo. So you know, talk that talk. I rap with the greatest, Black Dart, 
Chief Kamachi, Vinny Paz, influenced some of these brothers. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Not not black thought, but all I'm saying is, brother, you know, you're, you're, what you're doing, you got to keep doing it, and you just got to connect, especially with me and the God. Mel Chesedick of hip-hop. This is Mel Chesedick. He, he discovered you, not me. So I'm, I'm listening. I oh, you know, I'm just saying. I didn't discover him. He didn't discover him, but I'm just saying. Well, I, I come like, on my we all from Philly. We all from Philly. <laughs> I'm just saying. Philly. So somebody, yeah, he from, he not from Chicago. He's from Philly. He's from Philly. So I'm excited because I'm from Philly. You know, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm like blown away. It's like, yo, man, you, you on I a told whole. Y'all you had some stuff. Yeah, yeah, dog. Yo, yo, he's on the love. Cats need to know about you in Philly. That's dope. You know what I mean? And he battle raps too. He a battle rapper too. Mm. Hey, Black Intelligence. That's, DM me on on Facebook. Not damn, not Facebook. Um, Instagram. 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 Put my Instagram up there for him. Shout out to Donkey. Uh, Donkey, ass- where is where is Chief Kamach? Where when uh album? I don't know. Where's he at? Tell him to hit us up. All right. On to the next one. On to the next. Hold on, I lost my whole thing here. Okay, this next one is by uh, Aurora Borealis. Oh shit! It's called Science. See, somebody being dis. Uh, that was Science by DJ Aurora Borealis. Yo, what you think? Okay, so uh, I'm gonna just say you got uh, whoever produced the beat needs to compress the beat. You know what I mean? Because there those trumpets will pump, pump in like, and then that'll like totally cover up some of the verse. That yeah. verse has to be nice and solid, nice and compressed in its own layer. But the beat needs to be a little less dynamic, and you fix that by compression. So master that compression. Whoever did the beat, I don't know if that was you or your homeboy. Uh, they, it needs a, a mastered. It needs to be mastered basically. Master that beat, compress it up so that there's not too many dynamics. Too many things popping in and destroying, uh, you know, the volume and area where the the vocals need to sit nice and snug like an egg in the mix. Do you know what I mean? And the beat needs to be nicely around it like the nest. You know what I'm saying? So one, uh, that beat just needs to be compressed. That's my only input. Go ahead. Yeah, I think that, yeah, again, that goes back to what AD <laughs> being the mastermind uh, engineer that he is. Remember, man, when you, when you fucking... Record your vocals, compress them. It's all about the compression. And when you put it in, in you put it in, you upload it on the internet. You got to really be cautious about what you're putting up there. And if it's not mixed and mastered a certain way, it, it is what it what, what you hear is what you get. And if you made a mistake, the mistake is gonna be up there forever until you fix it. So yeah, just try to make good make it. We know about the lyrics. We hear you. But make the sound sound good so we can play it in our car and play it on a, you know, a stadium. Just make the sound sound good. Mm-hmm. That shit was dark. Dark. It was. I like it. Was. it. I like the dark shit. Was that the cat remind me of, of Prodigy? Yeah. Or Robert yeah, Morales? Yeah, that the cat? yeah, that's him. That's him. He All had right. that kind mm-hmm. of style. Like, you know what I mean? Like All the right. dark, the darker style. Uh, you got a super oh. chat. Priest Shout Howell. out to JDS. Oh, you can well, see it. Priest how you and Kamachi have the same beat, Holy Rollers and Essential. Oh, yeah, you had the same beat? Mm. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't hear it. But it might be, you know, his producers are weird like that. They'll send a beat to somebody and send a beat to, to another person. And sometimes stuff gets mixed up. Yeah. Otherwise, I, I, I know it. both songs are dope. You know? Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure. It probably was on his album... You know, everybody samples from the same same record sometimes. No, I don't know how he got the same beat. Yeah. That's dope, though. Right. Oh, oh, the, oh, you said the same beat. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't know. The producer probably sent I don't know. Maybe he had the beat before. Some people sample the same. Yeah. All right, last one is by St. P. He's got a track here called What You Made Of. It's an MP3. Don't add too much compression. Either don't want to smash the vocal. Yeah. True. Yeah. You don't want to overdo it. That's yeah. Right. Okay, here we go. Same, man. You already know who I am. I'm not sure. Who's this? Yeah. St. P. Yeah. I've heard him. What you made up? Yeah. Can you tell me what you made up? Can you tell me what you made up? Hey, what you made up? Uh? Hey, can you tell me what you made up? Uh? Hey, uh, what you made up? Uh? Hey, 
Cali, tell me what you made up. Yeah. Hey, what you made up? Yeah. Can you tell me what you made up? Yeah. Yeah. I made extraordinary fortitude, attitude, rude as hell, buck jumpy, cash jigging, I'm pimp tight. Can't you tell the land of where the hookers dwell, the city where they killed the king? At the rainbow tell I'm super dope, fuck you me. Isaac hater, Jazzy Faye, Miss Alberto was the day. Alpha straight for Sammy, no, I had to get the new with Jay. Like your factory hook, I'm standing line for about three hours. Everybody wanna rap to get the money and the power shit. I just wanna feed my fam up, lift. My community, stop the beefing and the killing, trying to form some unity. I've been an eagle born to fly my target on perfection. Level two, popping bottles in the VIP section. Me and Max, we had the whole club lit. Down south on Bill Street, that's where all the guns whispers. Yeah, they straps and short shorts. Them okay on Sundays. Better watch how you mug, we ripping more than runways. Always about that gun play. Better watch. Know what I mean? That's, that's the deuce. That's a song. That's dope. Boom. Same yeah, that was, the, yeah, we, we, we've heard him before. He's and he came before. the same way. Correct. Always. Yeah. See, that's real studio. Fire. That cat is going he to has, the studio. He has a good engineer. He has yeah. somebody, whoever's, whoever's doing it. I got nothing to say about that track. It's dope. Yeah. It's done. Put it on iTunes. Yeah. The rhyme. Put it up there. Tune Make your money, bro. The rhymes. Apple. The, mm -hmm. the whole song was dope. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not going to say anything bad about that. Now, I was grooving. For those at home, just so y'all know, I'm not just DJing random tracks here. This was called Song Promotion, to where uh, you guys are able to send us tracks for 20 bucks. We'll play a minute and a half of your track. Um, and I know a lot of people are asking, how do we do that, AD? So you email me at info at webcornmedia.com. That's my company. Um, and I'll send you the link so you can pay online. Send me the track. Cinco de Mayo. And we're already getting a lot of song submissions already. We're trying to keep it under seven tracks per podcast. So uh, we already got two set up for Monday. So uh, send, submit your tracks now. It's only 20 bucks, minute and a half. And uh, yeah, do it now because Monday's already getting booked up. Shout out, to, shout out to Kind Hearts once again. Shout out to uh, Nene. Shout out to Jordan. Mm -hmm. Shout out to everybody that's coming through. The podcast to make it what it is, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, all the music, the musicians, all the music. The last song was incredible. Uh, I like the dog joints. Uh, shout out to everybody, man. I just want to say shout out to everybody. Happy um, Cinco really de Mayo. Show. Cinco what? Cinco de Mayo? Yep, Cinco and de Mayo. And all of my Mexican brothers and sisters out there, we have nothing but love for you. We love you. Thank, for, thank you for always contributing to the community. You know what I mean? Every all the the brothers and you know, just thank you for being nice to me as an African. <laughs> we salute you. We love you. All the Mexican the people in, in uh in Los Angeles and abroad, all over the, all over the United States, and the brothers and sisters in Mexico. Happy Happy Cinco de Mayo. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why I'm wearing a hat. You know what I mean? I'm representing y'all today. <laughs> Yeah, you shout out to I know, shout out to Str um Stringer. Mm -hmm. Shout out to he turned it orange. Yo, it's been a um it's been a great shot. It's been a great I was saying shine. Great show. It's been a great, great show. show, man. Shout out to everybody who's uh who who queuing in. Can I say one more thing? Go ahead, brother. The the Mexican colors, black, red, white, and green, is very similar to the African colors. You know, black, red, and green. They mm. just threw the white in there. The white could represent the heavens hmm. or whatever. So it's very similar, you know what I mean? You know, ancient Mesoamerica and Africa, we've always, we've always uh, traded, traded. The Europeans don't want y'all to know that. Just to, to, put, just to say it to the, the Mexican brothers and sisters, the Latino brothers and sisters out there, they try to portray a false narrative about the history of Africa hmm. and the great nations of so-called South America. We call it a maxim. Ancient Maxim, hmm. or at land, where you know, you know, the, the land of the Almex, the tall texts, the Mayas. You know what I mean? Hmm. Yeah, you know, I had to throw that in. Yeah, I, I, you, you the single the Maya, single the Maya. Last minute bombs. Yeah, somebody, somebody, I, had, somebody, I had to somebody throw said, it in. Yeah, somebody said white people like black people too, man. I like. I, well, we do. We, 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 we listen. We love everybody. Don't try to use that. Today is Cinco de Mayo, so we representing the, the ancient Mexican people. 
Mm. Okay? It has nothing to do with you. Don't just jump in the feed and you just think you're going to just say whatever you want to say. All it's right. single to <laughs> mind, bro. You're doing good. Okay? Good. It's red, black, green, and white. You know what I mean? And they're our brothers because our flag is red, black, and green. Okay? So we all brothers. We, we traveled the seven seas and we always traded against each other. You know what I mean? We traded gold and silver. You know, and all kinds of different things. You know, I'm just getting to go in. <laughs> oh, no, all right. uh, you know, the ancient, the ancient Mayans, the all all mech heads, right? But we already had the Jordan came up. We already. We, built I, I, know, I know, I know, I know. I'm just you, saying. You know, I'm just throwing it out minute. there. Last minute. <laughs> Big up to all my Mexican brothers and sisters, man. Happy single de Maya. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And everybody who celebrated. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, they get celebrated, and you know, remember. <laughs> All my brothers and si Mexican brothers and sisters, you are descendants of the Aztecs, the Mayans, the Zibitecs, mm. the Almex, the ancient ones. I had to throw it out there. The Aztecs. That's why it's the Aztec hawk right here, from the, carved on the ancient temples. So, yeah, go ahead. You got to give it up, man. Got to give it up. I know, I know. You know. Yo. <laughs> I love my people, man. I love my people, man. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Last minute rant. Yeah. Uh, Landon's playing. Yo, shout out to, uh, what's that? Dominic. Dominic. That's my favorite KD album. Wait till you hear Mr. Universe. Gonna drop anything similar in the future? Uh, who you talking about, man? Even better, even better, brother. Thank you about that. But that was just one part of it, you know what I'm saying? Third Eye and Technicolor got more stuff coming, bro. Just get ready. You ain't hear nothing yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. But we got, we got another one. God damn, man. You the human rhyme machine. How many albums you got? God, man. man Jesus. Coming, man. God damn it, man. It's all right, all right, all right. Damn, you know. How many albums you put out in 2000? You put out Priest, man. You, you, oh, man. you killed everybody, uh, man. I always say it, man. I got more coming. I got more coming. Jesus Christ, man. What's the name of this one? The one he talking about? I got one. <laughs> I'm saying, D-Nuts. I mean, D-Nuts. Ah! Yeah, that's a funny, God, that's funny, that's funny, funny You're a funny guy. Moment. Why you got to say it like that? <laughs> yeah, 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 You're going to exactly. say it like that. These nuts All right. Let me let you have that one. Yo. Great podcast. Yo, we landed plane already. Yo, thank y'all for coming out, Peace, man. peace, peace. Priest, Iron Sheik. Make sure you guys subscribe. <laughs> Stop. I'm a G and D. Money, all I do is spend it on the things I need. Not one. I don't care about cars and clothes. Cause my closet's been full. So I'm rocking those. I don't care if they're stained up, faded, or shrunk. Or got lint on them. As long as I ain't smelling like no funk. No car payment due. No bills, I chill. I live a very much content. Simple life with my girl. By myself. No friend. Ain't got a brother or a father. I'm my own. Oh man, I've been a grown man since the toddler. Nobody loves me. Matter of fact, they all hate me. They probably all wish I'd stay poor till I'm 80. Why? I don't know. I'm just a humble man with knowledge. The power to create our own realities inside us. But gravity's inside us. Through our tendency subconscious. But our ecstasy nirvana. Through our prana and our bliss. Till we fly up through the mist. And lay inside of the abyss. You'll remain inside of mama till you no longer childish. But matter of fact, you gotta be a child to get to heaven. The second chakra by arousing it is what allows it. It's the energy body. It's the feeling. The emotions, 90% of humans are in their minds Achilles heel for most of them And don't even know Ghouls and ghosts, they're invoking them This is how they pose As hosts and your friends The devil coaches them and gives them out for a try You wonder why he looks different when you look in his eyes Because it isn't who you think it is It's a familiar spirit
hear it. It's possession, you should fear it. And you feel it, you get near it. Cause they're trying to take your soul away. Psychic vampires and narcissism. Raphael, the god, is risen like a dog. I shake off all of them except for one priest. I feel he's the only one that's real. And lives proverbs. This is why I accepted his deal and said, Yes, you're the best. And you've always been my favorite. All the bars that nigga plays with are like torches. He's a savior. These artists are carcasses. The governments are smart shape shifting Marxists. Satan is the carpet and his mate is an adulteress. I fade off in the darkness, far away from the maze of darkness. And the matrix had to part from it with brace no longer heartless. Fiction. It's stranger than fiction. It's stranger than fiction.